clicks with Twitch. Hey, <laughs> we're live, and we're not playing the game because uh, you can kind of see from the table behind me. We are we're playing the game of life. The game Wait, of no. life. No, we're not playing the game of life. We, we really aren't. <laughs> no, we've um, it's something we've been planning for a long time. Uh, I had decided to christen the new office by putting together like a new PC that could be used. It's basically something that's dedicated to editing, recording, um, and streaming. I know. Uh, Sorry. Did you say what? <laughs> I was going to say, I, I, how much we, we meme about hot tub streamers, right? Yeah. Uh, I just logged into Twitch for obvious mm -hmm. reason, and something genuinely refreshing happened. On the front page of Twitch, it's not a hot tub streamer. It's a lady properly dressed playing guitar. And it looks amazing. Oh, I... And if I wasn't doing this, then I would be watching that right now. <laughs> you know what? Um, I logged in. It was the same thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Normally well-dressed woman, but playing Pokemon. Uh... The, one of the new ones for the Switch. Anyway, uh... not to belabor this. So Blue's told oh my me God, this whoa, whoa, whoa. Is... Amaranth is playing Valorant. <laughs> Sorry, in a bikini. All right. Blue's warned me that this is a bit of a jarring transition, but... You make your own judgments. So I've got a camera now facing down at the actual uh, the table where this is going to be built. Um, and I kind of had things piled up to take a picture of it. This is not really the most efficient way where you want things. So you can see my hands, right? Yeah, okay. So first thing, got to get the case out of its box. So some of the things that are going to be going into this PC, um, it because I'm thinking of using this mostly for editing and streaming and recording, the biggest consideration was the CPU. And yep. Yep, yep. so for this one, got a like the like newest generation Core i9 processor. Looking at it, it seems to be one of the best for these right now. If you don't want to go up to a Threadripper, and those things are obnoxiously expensive, and they're really for like professional editors, which we aren't. <laughs> I don't know what you're suggesting, Kaiser. <laughs> I know I'm not. <laughs> I'm certainly not to be fair. Um, so I oh, got to mute myself. There we go. Um, I'm going to be seeing the stream a bit lagged, so if anything suddenly happens, I'm going to be like a little bit behind. Yeah, okay. I still hear you in real time. Um, yeah. Hmm? Kaiser, are What's you it? ready? I'm doing his quiz thing again. By quiz the way, uh, one quick thing. We are using a mid-tower. I My current PC uses a full tower, which is a lot bigger, but I it's also weighs 70 pounds and is obnoxious to move around, so I decided to go with something a little smaller this time. All right, go on, Blue. What do you mean a quiz thing? I'm not predictable. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so hey, hey, we're, we're, we're live, by the way. Uh, we're, we're, so we're doing a StarCraft 2 quiz. Okay. Well, at least I might have a chance with this one. Uh, this is not a homebrewed one. This is, um, I'm on a, a trivia site, and there are lots of StarCraft 2 uh, quizzes out there. I'm going to reposition this camera real quick while you're introducing this. I'm going to quickly ask you, what is your... What do you think is your best uh, faction? Zerg, definitely. Zerg. Okay, cool. I thought it would be. Uh, okay, so 15 questions. Are you ready? The average score, by the way, for this is 12 out of 15. So, as... What, what rank are you? Uh, diamond. As a diamond player, I'm expecting at least 14 out of 15, all right? <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of pressure right off the bat. Uh, do you want, should, we, should we go timed mode? Because, I mean, you got to if you're going to be a real, if you're a real boss, a real G. Sure, why not? What, what, give okay. me, what, what's the time limit? Uh, I don't know until I click it. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, this is a nice case. I like this. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, what is the most basic Zerg unit in which you can mutate into all other Zerg units from drones to ult ultralisks? Is it a drone, a larva, a chrysalis, or a pupa? Larva. Okay. In that time, we took about half the time of the question. Okay. Okay. First one. Correct. Okay. It does let you pause between rounds. 
Good to know. Ow! Static uh, electricity. The lava, and it also does little factoids after each question. The lava contains the DNA for every Zerg strain that is currently available to the base. As you upgrade your base, more DNA will become available to you, which will make, which will allow you to mutate your larvae into more complex Zerg units. You don't have to worry about making them either, as they spawn automatically from your hatchery, lair, or hive free of charge. That is all very true. Next. Uh, what's the name of the Zerg unit that will gather resources for you and mutate into structures drone. when commanded? It's a drone. Is it a larvae, a nidus drone. worm, a leech, or a drone? We're on a time limit here, it's a drone. <laughs> you had said, when I was still reading the question, the time hadn't even started yet, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Calm your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like this glass case, by the way. Like, this is going to be nice. <laughs> Yeah, it does look pretty. Uh, drones are very cheap to produce and mutate from larvae very quickly. All you need is how many minerals, Kaiser? Uh, wait, what'd you say? I said drones are very 50. cheap to produce. Bam. That wasn't even a question. I was just throwing that in. As you upgrade your hatchery into a lair and then to a hive, more building options become available for you for your drones to mutate into. Okay, next question. Complaint right off the bat. This fucking tape right here. Like, <laughs> you're taking up your own time by talking. Oh, about okay, now. fine. What's go. the name? What's the name of the floating unit that, when spawned, will increase your increase your unit supplies? You may grow a bigger army. Is it a drone, a queen, or an overseer, or an overlord? It's still an overlord. Okay. <laughs> also, okay. Now I can say this. Look at this. They yes. put this tape on this nice glass cover, and it left these like streak Ooh. marks here. I'm gonna have to, you know, see Buff about that fixing out. that. Also, we can see your face in the reflection. It's very nice. Oh. Hi. Oh, wait, that's my whole oh. head. <laughs> that's what? No, I the just... reflection of the fucking computer. You turned... A... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, and no, then I stuck up. my whole head in there. Yeah, I'm okay. taking the glass panel off so I can actually get my hands in here. Uh, it looks like a fucking French door or something. <laughs> on your computer. Anyway, uh, yes, if used and upgraded correctly... Uh, overlords can effectively transport other Zerg troops across the map or to hard to get areas. You can mutate larvae into them directly for how many minerals? A hundred. <laughs> Fucking damn. The extra questions, even. like. <laughs> oh, that's, that's another extra one. That was an extra one. Yeah, yeah. If I can find a question in the fun fact, I'm going to give you it. All right. That's fair. Okay, next question. What is the name of the small and fast ground attack unit the single larvae will produce two of? Zergling. A baneling, a hydralisk, a mutalisk, or a zergling? I don't even need the multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really should have had like a, a bucket or something to put all these screws into. Yeah, we'll use this. This is what the hard drive came in. Zerglings are very weak by themselves, but if you manage to create a fairly large swarm of them, the results can be devastating. When using Zerglings, be sure to watch out for enemy units that use fire weapons, such as the Terran's Hellion. So they actually have... These one of the new ones. They actually have the hard drive slots in the back here. Oh. It's interesting. And my old one, everything was like... It was the old style where like everything is in like the main oh. body here. I think you're just poking the back of a hard drive. It looks like the um, clip you get for crowd and debit cards. <laughs> All right, uh, right, next question. Uh, what's the name of the unit you spawn directly from your hatchery, lair, or hive that will help you produce more larvae Queen. and increase the size of your creep? Uh, okay, I'm just... <laughs> wow, they put a zealot on here. So, oh, wow, they're really trying to fuck <laughs> with some people. All right. So... Uh, Queen, correct. Go. This is this is something that I'm never quite sure about. Do you put the because I've I've gone back and forth on this, putting the power supply in first or putting the motherboard in first. I'm usually uh... partial to putting the motherboard in first. But <laughs> well, let's see. Do you, do you are you more cautious about your life or frying the motherboard? <laughs> <laughs> well, the power... <laughs> so I'm not going to plug it in. <laughs> it doesn't get plugged in until the very end. And yeah, then when no, it yeah, inevitably was... doesn't turn on, then I go like, oh fuck, what's wrong? Mm. Uh, not only will the queen make larvae and increase the size of your creep, she will also heal units' buildings and can be utilized as an anti-air unit which can be valuable early in the game. Once the queen runs out of energy, you'll have to wait for it to fill back up before you heal, spawn a creep tumor, or birth larvae. Yeah, sounds about right. 
Okay, next question. What is the name of the ranged ground unit that can attack both air and ground troops? An ultralisk, a hydralisk, hydralisk. a mutalisk, or a zergling? Which one did you go with? It was a ground unit, right? Gr hydralisk. Name of the ranged unit that can attack both air and ground. So it doesn't have to be ra uh, it doesn't have to be ground. Well, in that case, then there's two things that can be right. So it has to be hydralisk. They just phrased the question badly. Okay. Hydralisk is correct. When used in a group, hydralisks hydralisk are a very useful form of anti-air. Just be sure to have other units with them for protection from enemy ground units. If playing against Terran, watch out for Sergei tanks. Yeah, actually, it's fun. Hydralisks have kind of... They used to be easy Terran, but now they've kind of become a really good counter-Terran uh, mm. unit because you can morph them into lurkers, and they do this, like, AoE splash damage, and they, they're burrowed so they can't hit them. Oh, they sweet. shred this you just pulled out with all the cubes on it. This is the motherboard. Ah. So I, I should probably talk about the parts we're using on the way through. So this is an MSI motherboard. Um, I, I went with... A lot of the motherboards that I saw, I was going to go with an Asus motherboard, because I've used their, theirs in the past, and with a lot of success. I think the one I have in there now is an Asus motherboard. But the thing is, the Asus motherboard that's compatible with the socket for the new i9 processor has had a lot of QA issues. So, like, they've put out a lot of, like, dead ones or ones that die within a month. From what See. I've read online. So, you basically, it's basically a crapshoot whether or not you're going to get one that works perfectly and is awesome, or one that works okay. And risk, especially when the MSI one looked just as good and it was like $150 cheaper. So I see. But yes. Uh, cool. Right, next question. Uh, what is the name of the unit that will explode when it comes into contact with Bailey. an enemy, drenching it in acid? That was the easiest fucking one so far. <laughs> Oh my god, one of the things is a bombling. <laughs> a bombling, of course. Uh, Banelings are very good at destroying buildings? They actually are, yeah. I thought they were great at mass murdering little guys. Light units. They're, they're really good at mass murdering light units in large numbers, but they're yeah. really. Um, they're also good they're really for. Bad. They're really bad at trying to kill air units. <laughs> yeah, me, yeah. <laughs> There's uh, a running joke you... that, you know, Zerg units are, like, they're bad against units that can attack them. Oh. So, like, Mutalisks, they're weak against anything that can attack Mutalisks. They're good against everything yes. else. Uh, if you use their attack structure feature... Oh, okay. Is it, like, a special ability, though? Are they more damage to buildings, maybe? No, no, they... That's not a weird good? way to put... You, you just have to right-click on the buildings. Oh, that's just attacking. They're, they're, yeah, they're making it sound really <laughs> fancy, but it's not. Uh, they could also do splash damage allowing for more than one target to be hit at a time. Okay. Uh, what is the name of the upgraded overlord that can produce units Observer. called changelings? Is it a broodlord, an overlord, Sorry, overseer. a queen, or an overseer? Yeah. Observer is the Protoss unit. I almost mm. got one wrong! Almost. Lucky that I fucking slowed to read that one out. I mean, Observer wasn't even on there, but there you go. Yeah, that would have been a dead giveaway. Uh, not only can the Overseer produce changelings, it will act as a detector which will reveal all cloaked or burrowed enemies to you. Overseers also make fairly good scouting units. They do, but they're way too expensive. Most people just use normal overlords. Mm. Uh, okay, right, next question. All right. So what is the name of... Careful, at this what... bit, there's a reason it's in this special packaging. This is like anti-static. Normally What's you... the name of the unit that can heal itself over time and attacks with deadly acid blast? Sorry. All of them can heal themselves over time. Heal itself over time and attacks with deadly acid blast. Oh, there's a roach. It's a roach. Okay, it's a roach. Sorry. Sorry, I, I clicked it and then you started talking. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're talking about an upgrade for the roach. All Zerg units heal themselves over time. Every single one uh, of them. But even Banelings? Even Banelings. Well, not if they explode, but... <laughs> But if I mean, you don't, but they can get hit by a unit once and not die. Yeah, yeah, and then they can just go away and heal themselves. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, you were saying about something careful happening. Yeah. So the reason, like most of the time, if you're assembling a, a computer, you want to like 
wear minimal clothing and don't be around carpeting and stuff like that mm. because yeah. static. <laughs> um, static can completely fry any part. So. Uh, sorry, hang on, just sensely. Why? Oh, this is a really awkward placement for this fan cable. Okay, uh, right. Roaches are extremely useful anti-ground unit due to their regenerative abilities. Wait, but if they can all regen, do they have higher regeneration? Yeah, there's an upgrade you can get for roaches that they heal rapidly when you burrow them. Uh, if used and upgraded correctly, you can win a 1v1 match while almost exclusively using roaches. That's Not one of true? my favorite builds, is just to go pure um, roach. Pure roach is I such see. a fun build. I see, I see, I see. Right, next question. Uh, what's the name of the ground unit that can take over the minds of enemy units and turn them into a kind of zombie? Mister. Uh, Roach, Broodlord, Corrupt, or Infester? Infester. Boom. Man, the... I, I was oh, like getting worried about this quiz, but... <laughs> uh, the Infoster, as they've spelt it, is the only Zerg unit that can move while it is buried, burrowed. It's not true. Are they... Among other things, it can also is it maybe it's the only one that can do it without being upgraded. Oh, that that might be true. Yeah, the roach you have to get an upgrade to do it. Among other things, it can also spawn infested terrans, reveal cloaked and burrowed units, and control enemy units using the neural parasite ability. I know this guy from the cardboard sketches, and he's like <laughs> when he's like moving people around there like like their little cars. Yeah, <laughs> I think I might actually have to take this fan out. In order Ooh. to get the fucking... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to, because... Whoopsie jewels. But you always want more fans. They have so many fucking fans in that PC. Holy shit, that's Yeah, like there's six. already a bunch of them. Fucking, you don't need six fans. <laughs> but more fans. There's, they all have LED lights. It'll be so pretty. And then yeah. you'll get, like, a million followers on YouTube. 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 Ooh, oh, God, I gotta tell you about this. So... Yesterday, I went to this event, you know, a couple states down with a uh, couple friends. Yeah. And it the event is called, like, fire, Water Fire? Anyway, it's this, like, they, they have a canal in the city, and they light every, like, light the whole thing up on fire. Mm. And Oh, um, yeah, I saw a picture of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sent, I sent a few of them in chat. Anyway, um, we, there's this area of it where people were hanging up these glowing stars, and they were like, oh, you put a wish on here. And then you could donate, and they would put your wish up on one of the glowing stars. <laughs> the very first wish we saw on one of them was, I want to be famous and have a million Instagram followers. <laughs> oh, dear. One of my friends has turned to me, and she's like, there's no hope for humanity. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. I Sorry, I was about timing. Um, I think I can get the fan back in here, actually. I'm going to need to get the motherboard in first. Are you ready for a question? I am ready for a question. What is the name of the fast air unit that can attack multiple targets at once by bouncing a shot Mutalisk. between up to three enemy units? <laughs> it's a Mutalisk. Uh, Overseer, Ultralisk, Hydralisk, or Mutalisk? Yeah, it's a Mutalisk. The Mutalisk was the one I was saying that they phrased a question poorly for earlier, because they were saying, like, oh, what, what's this unit that is light and can attack air or ground? And I'm like, well, the Mutalisk and the Hydra can do that. Mm, but it was an acid fact, factor to that whole thing. Yeah, that, that might have been what they were thinking, is like, oh, if we drop Lysergic Acid, then this old question will make sense. <laughs> the Mutalisk if used correctly, can attack multiple targets at once while on the move, which can be very devastating. Also, mutalisks can attack both air units and ground units. The way you actually... There, there used to be this... Way, so there's a bunch of units that are made basically to counter mutalisks. They can do AoE damage to units in the air. Uh, the Thor is mm -hmm. a good example of this. The Widow... Actually, they're all Terran units, <laughs> now that I think about it. But... Um, so there was a, a technique to attack moving your mutalisks that people developed. And mm. essentially, if you, like, if you get them all spread out and then kind of like A move and stop and A move and stop and A move and stop, they'll stay in this very, very wide box and won't clump up. 
and I so see. it actually works out better. This is yeah. not going in. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> right, ready for the next question? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, what is the name of the anti-air flying unit that can cover ground units in slime, causing them to take extra damage from your ground from your ground units? Oh fuck! I never use this unit. Corruptor. Is it the Broodlord, the Corruptor, the Ultralisk, or the Mutalisk? It's the Corruptor. I never use this unit. <laughs> I see. It's it's All really right. really good, but it requires like you you basically have to micro it separately, and it's just such a pain in the ass. I see. So far, 12 out of 12. Hell yeah. When attacking enemy air units with Corruptors, pay attention to what you're attacking, as they are powerful against basic enemy air units, but weak against more powerful ones. That's also, right. if you have the right buildings, Corruptors can mutate into Broodlords. Uh, ready? Yep. What is the name of the unit that creates a tunnel link? Oh, I know this fucking one. <laughs> creates a tunnel linking two areas covered in creep. Nidus Canal. Ah. What did you say? Nidus Canal. Well, no. Oh, Nidus Network? Not. So, Nidus Tunnel Maker, Nidus Networker, Nidus Worm, or Nidus Worm spelt with a Y? Oh, Nidus Worm. Not spelled with spelled. a Y. Not spelt with a Y. Yeah. Okay. W O R M. I think so. You're making me question myself, and now I'm not sure. I don't. I... Correct. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> the Nidus Worm can transport an unlimited amount of units across a battlefield. I, by the way, when I said I knew this for sure, I thought they were going to give us four different Zerg. <laughs> Spelling <laughs> checking it, I probably would have gone with the Y. Yeah, that, that was, that's an obnoxious question. Alright, <laughs> let me make sure I put these in the right spot here. Uh, the Nidus Worm can transport an unlimited amount of units across a battlefield. However, it will only unload them one at a time. When using Nidus Worms, be careful they don't get destroyed when you have units inside of it, as they'll all be killed along with the worm. Yeah, that's only if they kill both ends of the network at once, though. I think that's kind of bullshit. I think if a Zergling has the ability to uh, burrow, they should just go burrowed ne next to where the Nidus Worm died. Hey, I mean, I'd be all for that, but, you know, I'm a Zerg player. True. Um... I used that anyway, next question. What is the name of the most powerful Zerg ground unit? Ultralisk. Uh, Ultralisk, uh, uh, Ultralisk, Hydralisk, Broodlord, or Kerrigan? Oh, come on, that's bullshit. No, I'm, I'm kidding, that's actually there, it says Mutalisk. What okay. one did you say? Ultralisk, <laughs> it's Ultralisk. I would have changed the answer if Kerrigan was on the list. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Ultralisk is a beast. Due to its size, it can hit multiple targets in one melee attack. It can deal up to 90 damage to buildings if upgraded correctly. It can break force fields and are immune to mind mind control and other similar attacks. Yeah, it's if you also... can get even a small group of Ultralisks in your army, it will increase your power quite a bit. Go on. It's also Juan's current favorite build is to do Ultralisk rushes. Ah. That's probably quite a late game strat. It is, unless you like. Basically, he he's relying on people. But if you if you just go pure economy in the beginning and just make the minimal number of military units, you can get ultra quickly. Yeah. Uh, right. Next question. Yep. Uh, final question. What's the name of the large manta-like flying anti-ground zerg unit? Manta-like flying anti-ground zerg unit. Oh, broodlord. It, they threw me through. 15 Gun. <laughs> nice. Hey! Uh, I had no reason to fear. It, when they threw me off when they were like manta-like, and I was like, what? Hmm. But I guess it does. It looks like a manta ray. Alright, um, so just update. Uh, we've now on. got the motherboard completely screwed in. I shouldn't be using the screwdriver because yeah. it's magnetic. <laughs> I like that new fan placement. I think that'll be great there. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put it right here. Look, it's my new CPU fan. <laughs> it's my fan for the other fan. Uh, Broodlords right. attack ground units by producing broodlings, which can attack air units and have a limited lifespan. If used correctly, Broodlords could be very effective during a siege. Alright, I'm putting the fan back in now so it's not just dangling out in the open. Nice. This is such, like... I guess, did they... 
this is such an obnoxious design. Like I like the way the inside of this. I like the way this case looks. There's a lot of stuff I like about it. That you know, the fact that there are a million fans is something I do like. The mm. fact that they place the big ass fan so close to this. It's a plastic fan too. So if this thing gets, this is a heat sink. Is this gonna melt the fan? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kaiser, for getting 15 out of 15, you have won 162 fun points. Oh, yes, I love those. <laughs> um, is that enough to have Mickey Mouse sing at my birthday party? <laughs> um, I'm trying to see what the what percentage bracket you're in. Uh, Ooh. it doesn't really help me. I'm in the hundred percent bracket. So, the, apparently, the question that most people got right was, "What's the most name of the most powerful Zerg ground unit?" Which I can't quite believe when it's got the fucking question about the Baneling. That's well. The, the the question that I was would have thought everyone would get is the one about Zerglings. Well, the like, what's the most basic Zerg unit? And no, what's the, name of the, the Zerg the, unit? Yeah, that launches oh. and it creates two of itself and it rapid attacks. Yeah, it's mm. Zergling. It's like they're the the poster child of the Zerg. Well, there you go. But Ultra yeah, they're one. just awesome. All right, uh, so Motherboard is in now. Hell yeah. So there's a few different things we can kind of... There's a, a bunch of different directions I can go at this point. Mm. I don't want to start putting things into the Motherboard just yet. I think I'm going to go with the power supply next. So um, I went a bit overboard with the power supply. The, the power supply I bought could power a computer twice this size with like mm. two video cards and like a bunch of RAM. It's a 1200 watt <laughs> Asus or uh, yeah Asus power supply, and um, <laughs> bought it because it's got the LED things and it's shiny and it was yeah a bit excessive. But I do like I I think the my current computer, which is going to be about on par with this one, uses a thousand watt power supply, and even that's too much. How the fuck do I open this thing? I see. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Uh, Kaiser, give me your favorite anime. Oh, that's a tricky one. Hmm. I mean, I could go with something generic and just say Cowboy Bebop, but that's too boring. Yeah. I mean, I, I really like Cowboy Bebop, but I I don't know if I'd... You know what? I'm going to go with something a little bit... Uh... Uh, we've got a... Uh, someone's asked, what's your new PC specs? Oh, so, uh, yeah, just to go over what we got. It's a mid-tower. Um, I don't actually know the brand of the tower. But we got a 1,200-watt power supply. Uh, we're going to be putting a, a new 12th gen i9 processor in it. Uh, I've got... Where's the video card? A Radeon RX 6900 XT for the video card. It's going to have 32 gigs of RAM. And uh, since we're building this thing to do mostly editing, streaming, and recording, we're putting in an Elgato capture card as well. A bunch of stuff that might as well have been in a foreign language. To me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I've built quite a few PCs. Blue hasn't, so he's, he's playing my straight man in this... Uh... What? <laughs> like in a comedy <laughs> sense. <laughs> uh, what's the GPU? Uh, G. Oh, yep. Here, I'll put it on camera so you can. Actually... So we got this. That's a AMD Radeon 6900 XT. So, this is what's going to be going into it a little bit later. I thought about I going. Thought, I genuinely thought I said America for a second. <laughs> no, it says Merc. Merc. But yeah, oh, nice. so we'll see um, what goes into it. It's kind of interesting putting this in there now because the 4090s and the 4080s are coming out pretty soon. So I can't see the chat, Blue. What's the... Uh... the they said, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we haven't gotten um... too far into the build. Blue's just been... Uh, he's been giving me... I just finished a StarCraft quiz while I put the motherboard in. Yeah, so. got 160 something fun points. I thought it was 260. Nah, don't get fucking greedy. 
All right, <laughs> calm down. You only got 160 fun points. All right. Uh, what? What? What's favorite anime? Let's go. Uh, let's go with Outlaw Star. I really like that one. That was one of my Outlaw favorite Star. ones. Outlaw Star. Never heard of that. Yeah, it's it's an older one. It was big when I was a kid. Uh, okay. Oh, what the fuck? I don't even know if this is to do with this. No. Yes. The questions look so fucking weird. Jesus. This this is, is I really it? overdid it with the power supply. Look at all of these different. I can hook up like two computers to this thing. Ooh. Oh, that noise. <laughs> Sorry. It's not bad. It's like a. I don't know. It's one of those one of those noises. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna um, ask you. I'm, it's getting a little warm in here. I'm gonna put my AC on. Tell me if it comes through cool. loud. Uh, we'll do. Um, Give it a second to settle out. Apparently, Outlaw Star ran in 2001 in Japan, in United States, yeah. sorry. 1996 in Japan, and it had to be censored to run on Cartoon Network. Yeah, it did. It was it was pretty heavily censored in the TV version, but I, I have it mm. on... I've since watched it on... I think I have it on DVD, and it's... Yeah. There, there, there's okay. a reason they had to censor it. Uh, do you want to do... Honestly, I don't think there's much point in doing the time one. So just do it like a normal one? Because I have to then read the question to you, and then you have to process it and then answer it. So you're getting less time anyway. <laughs> the StarCraft uh, one, the timed one, actually worked out, because I, I knew the answer mostly bef before you even finished before reading I the finished, question. Before I finished, yeah. Okay, question number one. Okay. Which, uh, and like I said, I was reading these questions to check beforehand, and I was like, are these even to do with this thing? What the fuck is this show about? <laughs> 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 okay, question number one. Which of these species resembles birds? Saurians? Katal Katal? Corbinites? Oh my god, Corbinites. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or Silgrians? Uh, the first one, I think. Okay, can you tell me what the fuck that has to do with that? <laughs> uh, so there's a couple different alien species in the show. Uh, Katal Katal are basically like cat people. Okay. Um, and then there's also bird people. I don't actually think they played too much of a role in the, the wider show. So you think the Saurians are the bird, like? I think so, yeah. All right, okay. we've already run into an issue. I, I need to actually detach a panel or something to get this in here. Oh. Uh, and it looks like in this mode, as in not time mode, you don't see the answer until the end, maybe? Okay. Uh, okay, although the average score for this is 5 out of 10. Difficulty is tough. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. I'm not confident on the very first question, so... Okay. Which assassin lead the Anten 7? Is it Hitor Hitoriga? Shimi? Jukai? Or Iraga? God, I don't know about this one either. Um... Assassin leads the Anten 7. I'm gonna go with uh, Jiraga. Sounds Iraga. right, but I'm not sure. Iraga or Jukai? Uh, Iraga, sorry. Okay. Right. Jiraya. There we go. I had to. <laughs> I literally insane. had to take out the hard drive case to fit this. I'm. I'm. <laughs> oh, this the power supply has already thing? screwed yeah. me over once. What was that? I said, "Oh, is that the battery you're putting in?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it. <laughs> it it didn't fit. I had to take the hard drive casing out to get it in here. Uh, uh, what fighting style was used by the Araga? Was it Hoke Shadow Boxing, Aikido, Po Heda Heda, or North Style Wushu? I like I like some of the names for that one. I'm pretty sure what was the first one again? I think I think it was that one. Hoke Shadow Boxing. Uh, what was the next? One? Aikido. Oh, it's, it's not Aikido. Um. Po Heda Heda or North Style Wushu? Uh, I'm going to go with the first one. Hokey Shadow Boxing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what ship component does Dragonite fuel? Oh, the... the. Oh, okay. Good. You're going to say it. I think well, I... Do you want to do a guess first? It's called the. There's... It's the something something. It's their faster than light drive in the show. Okay, uh, so, but I can't remember it. Is it the physical navigation system? The Newton reactor? 
the hyperspace engine or the Munchausen drive? Munchausen drive. Okay. I knew it had like some like Chinese name for it. The Munchy drive. <laughs> it's funny because that that's actually uh, paralleled the um, the hyperspace drive or the fast drive in Halo also had like a name kind of like that. I think it was the, yeah. like the Shah Fujika drive. Right. Well, that's completely different to Munchausen. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But it, <laughs> what I'm saying, they they both have um, a name um, Asian names. Drive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. That's Tau it. magic is the short way to say what? Xeno scum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, senjutsu, ninjutsu, alchemy, or dakma. This does sound like Star Trek from the questions. It, it, well, so, yeah, there's... Sure dakma is Star Trek. <laughs> there is, um... Oh, God, how do I get this back in here? <laughs> Oops. Just shove it in anywhere. <laughs> no, this, is, this is where the hard drive is going to sit. I need to actually make sure this goes back in properly. Oh, that's why I'm putting it in upside down. Good job. All right. Until we read out the question again? I, I honestly, I think, I think it might be the last one. Dakma? Dakma, yeah. Okay. Uh, we never see Jim's father, true or false? Yeah, well, it depends on the interpretation, because you do see him in one episode, but you see him, like, in silhouette form, right? What, Earthworm Jim? <laughs> no, the main character's name is Jim. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 the main character's name is Gene. No, you don't see Jim's father at all. The answer is no. Okay, false. The law enforcement officers in this episode, law, in the episode Laws and Lawlessness, work for what group? Angel Links, Space Forces, United Defense, or the GSC, standing for Galactic Security Company? Uh, oh god. Angel Links was a spin-off show in the same universe, so I kind of want to say that. Okay. Not Space I mean, yeah, Force, United Defense, or GSC? No, I'm going to say uh, Angel... Oh god, no. that They might be trying to trick me, because I know it's a spin-off show. I think it might actually have been Galactic Defense Force. Well, that's not even an answer, so... No, I'm going to go with Angel Links. Fuck it. I'm going with my first instinct. Okay. Also, you actually combined all three of the other answers in Galactic Defense Force. Because oh, really? Did I? Space Forces, United Defense, and Galactic Security Company. <laughs> oh, finally, oh, I got this thing in. Okay, who uses the technique Zanparandu? I'm pretty sure that was a bleach move. <laughs> uh, sorry, Hito Hitoriga, Jukai, Tobagera, or Hamushi. Also, I'm probably butchering all of these names. I'm fairly certain it was Hitoriga. Okay. But I'm not sure. God, they're asking me all these questions. I didn't pay attention to their fucking secret techniques. I just watched <laughs> them make cool moves on the screen. How many times do we see Aisha? Successfully transform into her beast form. One, two, three, or four. That's gonna be so fucking right. Yeah, she's the uh, she's awesome. one of the Qatar Qatar. She's she's the ship's resident cat girl. Hey, just got a message from Poppy nineteen ninety. Hmm. Hey there. Oh, it's uh, yeah, it's going pretty well. Uh, so far, we've got the motherboard and the power supply in. Um, depending on. Uh, Kaiser's got 160 fun points from playing the quiz so far. Oh yeah, Blue's been giving me quizzes. I feel like he's going to lose some fucking points for this quiz. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. uh, how, so yes, how many times do we see Aisha successfully transform into her beast form? The, the key word there is successfully, because there's one episode where they're all three. so fucking hungry that she can't transform. I'm going to say um, it's three. Three, go with three. Okay. Uh, counting him... How many men were in Cracker Jack's ja ga gang? Fuck me. Cracker Jack's gang. Was it three, four, five, or six? And this is the last question, by the way. Oh, I think he's in the very first or second episode. Or am I thinking of someone different? I'm going to say five. You're going to say five. Okay, and go submit your answers. Okay. All right, we're going with the CPU. 
Okay, right. First question. Which of these species resembles birds? Uh, you put saurians. The answer is silgreens. Fuck. Uh, okay. Saurians are reptiles, you fucking idiot. Oh, how how could I get that wrong? <laughs> Created I... from dinosaur DNA. Carbonites are large frogs like Swanzo. Katal Katal are obviously cat people. Yeah, uh, they, that one was easy. So, I, I just want to take a pause from the quiz real quick to say that okay. one unique thing about Intel processors is they always come in really obnoxious packaging. It, it looks cool, but it's obnoxious. When I currently have an old Core i9 in there. I think it's like one of the older... It's one of it's several generations before this one. Yes. It came in this weird, like, Angram coconut... It looked like the Engrams from Destiny. It right, came in this yeah, weird, yeah. And it took me, like, ten minutes to get the thing open. Here, <laughs> it's like this a one, Rubik's Cube. This one comes in this weird, like, wafer thing. The yeah. box opens a lot easier, granted. But it, um, it comes in this golden waffle. Which... Uh, pop Quick, quick things, right? Poppy, you put question marks in the chat, but I'm not sure where you're putting question marks to. So, uh, that looks looks like you're about to put on some beauty products, Kaiser. It well, Intel, you know, they've got their packaging. Uh, yes, yes, you are. She is able to make it over. Okay. So, she will be. Look, we got eagerly awaiting the snacks that I I hear we, we've got coming. <laughs> uh, question number two, you got wrong. Uh, it was Hitoriga Hito is the assassin which led the Anton Seven. <laughs> Yippee, indeed. Uh, Jukai seemed like the leader, but was more of a lieutenant. To hasn't I fucking can't say his name. <laughs> uh, question number three, you got correct. Hell you said yeah. okay, shadow boxing. Right. I'm not. Uh, I'm not completely irredeemable. Through. Uh, question number four, the Munkhausen Drive, you got correct. Okay, that one I was very confident on. Okay, you can only put it in one way, so this has got to be it. Question number five, you put Dakmar, and the answer was Senjutsu. Okay. Uh, the term Senjutsu is rarely used in the show since the term Tao Master is easier, and he easier to hear and say than Senjutsu Master. Yeah, they Ninjutsu and Alchemy are not used... In the show, to any great extent, and no character fought with D Dakmar. Wow! So you got, you got the one thing that literally no one fucking uses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're correct in saying that we never see Jim's father. Yeah, uh, we see him briefly in the intro to Cats and Girls and Spaceships. He was a skilled hacker called the Computer Wizard. Jim never met him. Uh, Sixty-nine percent of players got that correct. Nice. Uh, you put Angel Links, and it was correct. I knew it. Spin-off show. I'm glad I... No, you didn't fucking know it. You need to get every other answer in one. <laughs> I knew it was a spin-off show, and I, I correctly guessed. Yeah, I just mm. I had confidence in my original guess. Uh, there is another manga by the author of Outlaw Star that deals with the exploits of the Angel Links. There it, it is. It takes place in the same universe as Outlaw Star, but there is little crossover. Yeah. I actually, I never watched that anime. I always wanted to, just because I, I really liked Outlaw Star when I was a kid. I see. Alright, this, this uh, is clearly made to have mostly solid state drives. You can actually pin three solid state drives here, one on the back, but for like an actual normal traditional hard drive, which is good because I only bought one. Mm. We're actually not going to use any of these because the hard drive we're putting in this thing is somewhere on this desk. Here it is. Nope, that's um, not it. Well, who used the technique? Okay. Found it. It's, it's We're actually putting in an M2 drive, which attaches right to the motherboard. Damn. Just gonna fucking load a Garand into it, are you? <laughs> uh, so, the question, who used the technique Zampa Randu? You said Hitoriga, and that was correct, apparently. Yeah, boy. It's a bunch of fucking words that I don't understand, so I'm just gonna skip over that. <laughs> Uh, how many times do you see Aisha successfully transform into her beast form? You put three. The answer was two. Damn. Uh, she transforms in cutting the galactic ley line to defeat Jukai, and in the strongest woman in the universe to defeat Iraga. She tried to transform on Jean in Beast Girl Ready to Pounce, but couldn't because she was on a planet with no moon. 
There was another episode where she tried to transform and she couldn't because she was like too hungry. I see. And the final question: counting him, how many men were in Cracker Jack's gang? He correctly <laughs> answered five. Yeah. Uh, we see all five at once in only a few shots. They appear in the episode final countdown. Uh, yeah, you got how many? Do you reckon you got? I think I got half of them. Maybe. So you're aiming for five out of ten, right? That was the average, yeah. right? Yeah. You got six out of ten. Oh hell yeah! You got a total of ninety fun points. I'm actually really surprised by that because yeah, honestly, I thought you got less than that. <laughs> so I'm kind of potentially skipping a step here. I'm putting the hard drive in now just because it attaches directly to the motherboard. And once I put the video card in, it's going to be a huge pain in the ass to get that in there. Mm. Okay. The next category for the quiz. An ancient civilization, please, Kaiser. Mm. Oh, an ancient civilization. Yeah. Should it be one that I know or should I pick one that I don't know a ton about? I think you should do one that you do know a ton about. Because uh, okay. you have no idea what the questions could be. <laughs> That's true. I mean, the obvious answer then is going to be the Romans. Um, the Romans, okay. It, it's going to be the, yeah, the yeah. we'll go with the Romans. I was gonna, uh, By the way, in so my we head putting, I have Aztecs. <laughs> we are putting in a, a 2 terabyte uh, M2 solid state drive. Mm. Uh, and so there's actually storage, despite the fact that there's only going to be two hard drives in here. I've got this, a 2 terabyte drive. And then I'm going to be also putting in a 16 terabyte normal conventional hard drive in the back. Uh, Kaiser, this is going to be part of uh, the your visa when you next come to England, because this is the English Heritage site we're having this quiz. Ah, fun. Uh, test your knowledge of Roman England with our quiz. Click on each crushed year. Okay. In which year... Did the Roman invade? Hang on, wait, is this multiple choice? Because if not, that's uh, a bit unfair. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I just have to guess, like a random. Actually, well, it, it's somewhat. Okay. In which year did the Roman invasion of Britain take place? AD 23, 33, 43, or 53? Oh, but which one? Because Caesar invaded in BC. Are these BC or AD? AD. Okay. So there's only one then. Um, it's going to be 40... It's going to be... The, what was it? 43? So 23, 33, 43, or 53? 43. Correct. Uh, Aulus Plautius assembled an army... Did it as of... a political stunt because he essentially got... He got into power because the Praetorian Guard thought he was too much of a bitch to oppose them. And so they basically put him on the throne, but to... But he didn't want to just be like a puppet, so he wanted to shore up power somehow. And what better way to do that than a conquest of somewhere that even Caesar didn't conquest? Yeah, the, the English heritage site actually says he was an absolute bitch. And Is that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aulus Plautius assembled an army of four legions, which along with a number of auxiliary regiments, landed at Rickborough in Kent in AD 43. The British under Togodumnus and Caraticus were taken by surprise and defeated. Uh, question number two. Hadrian's Wall is 73 miles long, but what is that in Roman miles? Oh god, they were different. They were called miles. Which I realize is just spelled the, same the exact way. same way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh god, I don't actually don't know the conversion. Um... What was it, 70-something? Uh, Hadrian's Wall is 73 miles long. Okay. I'm Do you want me to make some uh, multiple choice for it? What, does it not have multiple choice? No. Okay. Yeah, you probably want to do that. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take a, a guess, a shot in the dark. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to say it's... Uh... Hey, here's what we do. You get to have a guess, and then I'll give you the multiple choices, and then you can confirm if you want. That works. Okay. I'm good with that. Well, so what's your guess? My guess is 100. 100 Roman miles. Okay. The answer is either, and I'll give you four options, is either 
18 melees, 35 melees, 82 melees, or 80 melees. Oh God, they were longer. Or they, they, the distance isn't quite as... Yeah, sorry, I did them out of order. 15... What did I say? You said 15, 30-something, 80-something, uh, and then 80-something again. I'm going to say yeah, 82. Eight... That was your last one. Uh, actually, it was my second to last one. My last one was 80, so I went backwards a bit. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to say 82. Okay, the answer... No, this is so unfair. The answer's 80, because I went over it and I realized I'd fucked up and I had to go backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you a half. Well, no, because you said 100 originally. No, fuck it, you don't get that point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I, was, I was wrong from the beginning. No mercy. Yeah. And if you would read into my stupid mumblings, then you probably worked out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which Hampshire castle is the only Roman stronghold in Northern Europe whose multi-towered walls still mainly stand up to their full height. I don't know any... If you get this, I'll be fucking amazed. I'm gonna say, I don't know any castles in Hampshire. Uh, maybe I should get an easier... I think I should get an easier quiz. Because the tough. next one's picture-based as well. <laughs> uh, Why does I'm gonna this get not go in? Holy fuck, no, we're not doing this one. It's a really short time, and there's 54 questions. <laughs> that just gave me anxiety looking at it. Uh... Oh, that, they, they've probably got a good one. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Here we go, 10 questions, guys. Are you ready? Yep. According to legend, who was the dad of Romulus and Remus? Uh, a wolf. Was it Jupiter, Mars, Pluto, or Goofy? <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, it says that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to say Jupiter. you say Jupiter, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the ones that don't tell you to the end. Uh, what was the name of the first Roman road? The vi Via Appia, the Via Happia, the Via Napia, or the A23? <laughs> Wow, that's this is a lot easier. It's the Appia. It's technically they called it the Appian or the Appian okay. Way. Which two famous walls were built in Britain by the Romans? Hadrian and Adrian, Hadrian and Cicero, Hadrian and Antonine, or Hadrian and Claudian. Hadrian and Claudian. Okay. Which famous warrior queen led a rebellion against the Romans in 60 AD? Utica. Okay. Do you want me to read yeah, out? Yeah, read Anthony? the multiple choice. I'm curious if I just jumped the gun there, if I was actually right. Joan of Arc. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Now remember, warrior queen, all right? Queen Elizabeth I. Jesus Christ. Or Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> Stick yeah, with Boudica? God, yeah, I'm still going with Boudica. <laughs> Alright, I think at this point, just to update on the build, I just Ooh. put in the hard drive, and the clamp to actually get that thing secured in there is the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen. It took me, like, five minutes to figure out that you're not supposed to take the screw out. It's got this little clip. But the clip doesn't yeah. actually work. Man, th that fucking... When I was fucking around my computer months ago, it, mine was also really fucking awful. Yeah. So the next step, what I'm going with now, I'm going to be putting in the CPU fan or the... Mm -hmm. Another uh, fan. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I got a liquid cooling unit for it. Which, what? Well, because it's self-contained. It's not like one of those ones where you have like a tube on the top where it has liquid cooling. It's this. So it's just okay. a normal thing. You attach it to the CPU. These tubes go up. You attach these fans somewhere on the case. Which I'm probably going to have to take these fans out to put this in. Uh, but we'll see. See. Uh, right. You ready for the next one? I am. What did Roman soldiers typically carry with them? Shield, knife, and bullet? Sword, shield, and spear? Bow and arrow? Or sword, shield, and lunchbox? 
I mean, ironically, the last one is, is pretty close to accurate, but it's sword and shield and spear. And they, it wasn't actually a spear, it was a javelin. They called it a, pi a pilus. Uh huh, we shall see. Uh, that's not a thing. Uh, Rome was founded in 753 BC. Is this true or false? False. Uh, what did the Romans build to transport large amounts of water over lo long distances? Also, aqueducts. they've got a fucking picture of a guy in Spartan armor. <laughs> they built aqueducts. Uh, yeah, so barrels, pipes, wagons, or aqueducts. Aqueducts. It is. Yep. What did war Romans watch at the Colosseum? Sporting events, opera, dancing, or plays? Sporting events. Which city in the Roman Empire was destroyed by a volcano in 79 AD? Pompeii. These are, these are getting a lot easier. Compared to Which that last quiz. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the last one was... Th this one's from a fucking chil children's magazine website, uh, alright? Okay. last one was <laughs> English Heritage. Yeah, that kind of explains a bit. Uh, which of the following was not a Roman ruler? Julius Caesar, Oct Otto Octavius, Octavian Augustus, or Nero? I'm going to choose the Spider-Man villain, Otto Octavius. <laughs> he was Spider-Man. Yeah, he's, a spider oh. he's Doc Ock from fucking Spider-Man. How many do you reckon you got correct? I There's a couple that I wasn't confident on, but I, how many were there? Ten. I, prob I think I either got 8 or 9 out of 10. You got 7. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yep. Uh, you got incorrect ones where Rome was was founded in 753 BC. Hmm. Uh, I didn't think it was that old. The famous walls were Hadrian and Antonine. Okay. Not Hadrian and Claudian. And according to legend, who was the Dad of Romulus and Remus, it was Jupiter, not Mars. I said Jupiter. No, you said Mars. No, I said Jupiter. I, I definitely bullshit. said Jupiter. I definitely said Jupiter. Was anyone in the Jupiter. chat paying attention? If, if the chat agrees that you said Jupiter, I'll give you the point. But if they don't, I'm saying you I said Mars. I, it doesn't matter what they said, I said Jupiter. <laughs> are, you, are you saying that the certain person in the chat, if they say that you didn't say it, then you're going to say they're wrong? I was thinking, like, I was considering <laughs> Mars when we were talking about it, but I was like, I was only thinking of it because they have the field of Mars, which is where the army gathers. But they would have been founded by, like, their all father, which was Jupiter. It wouldn't. Be, there would there'd be no reason for me to say Mars. Well, you might have been thinking about the field thing and then just said it by accident or something. I don't know. Uh... I think this is right. Boom. We don't give you fun points on this site, sadly. So I'll have to give you... I have to assign fun points. Uh, I'm I say thought that you was... were making up the fun points. I didn't realize no, the site no, had the, the fun other points. Two, okay. There were two different sites that gave you points. Um, but this one doesn't. Uh, I'm going to say... 94 fun points. Ah, thank you. Actually, it technically should be a little... No, I'm going to say 94. But for your disobedience of saying that I put in the wrong thing... <laughs> You did. <laughs> uh, I think this this goes on the back. Along with these, I need to figure out what the front clamp looks like. Oh my! Very saucy. <laughs> hmm. So much random paperwork all over this place. Uh. Okay, we're playing. Da, 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 da. What's my favorite animal? Okay, your favorite animal. No, your favorite animal. Oh, what's my? Uh, well, I mean. Well, no, 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 no. Well, I mean, yeah. Let's let's first of all hear what you think it is. I mean, I think I know what it is anyway. But <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a capybara. <laughs> yeah, but well, let's see if that's actually. Because I mean, this is far more. Far more accurate than whatever the fuck you think you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Quizzes on the internet. The teenage girl's version of determining what the truth of the world is. 
True. Uh, what do you want to eat? Sardines, squirrel, gazette, or gazette, gazelle, or biscuit? Wait, so I missed the the second one. Sardines, squirrel, gazelle, or biscuit? <laughs> do you want to be a squirrel kaiser? <laughs> well, I'm gonna say gazelle because veal is actually really good. Hmm. Pick a country to live in: USA, South Africa, England, or Egypt. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, hold on. Well, what, what I think we're... we can rule out South Africa and Egypt. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to live in either of those. So but... USA or England? I, you know what? Given the choice, I, I, I like living in the US. Fair enough. Uh, how would you like to spend your days? Hunting, purring, playing, or flying? If I know Kaiser, he loves to spend his day all day just purring. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hunting, whatever, something. <laughs> Hunting, purring, playing, or flying? Uh, well, it's going to be playing or flying, honestly, because I uh, I like to fly. Yeah, yeah, And um, I mean, I play a lot of video games, so... So you're going to go with flying? I'm going to go with flying. Uh, pick a song to listen to. Uh, In the Jungle, Who Let the Dogs Out, Hotel California, or Cool for Cats? What's the third one? Hotel California. Oh, Hotel California. Same. Oh god, I choked. Pick a, oh my god, I just read ahead. Pick a nickname. The Imperious One. <laughs> <laughs> Fluff. The Growler, which I think is a sex thing. Uh, <clears throat> or... It's only in or, the UK. That's only a sex thing in the UK. Or Flappy. Oh god. I'm gonna go with the imperious one. <laughs> yeah, I can fucking see that one. The growler, fluff, and flappy weren't exactly gonna be up your street. <laughs> nope. Uh, what are you like in the playground, Kaiser? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you go. chill on your own. You can't stop running about. You're a captain who picks the teams. I like to play aeroplanes. Oh. What was the first one? Uh, I chill on my own. It's either going to be that one, or I can't stop running about. Um... Yeah, not captain that picks the teams? Nah. That was never my deal. You don't like playing with airplanes? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, <laughs> I'll go with I can't stop running about. Okay. Are you good at sharing your things? No. Uh... <laughs> Sharing? As in sharing my stuff? No, I'm not good at that. Uh, yes, I share with my whole gang of friends. I only share with my family. Or I'll share with anyone. I'm pretty laid back like that. Um, what was the... the it's going to be one of the middle two. Either sharing so, with family or sharing with family and friends. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go with sharing with family and friends. That one. Okay. I gotta, uh, get, uh, I gotta get a cloth to clean off the... You gotta wipe the CPU before you actually put the thermal paste on, so I'll be right back. Okay, okay. That means I get to stay here awkwardly! <laughs> and I'm out of coffee! Oh no, I'm not. Oh yeah. We found more coffee! Oh god, speaking is painful now. Yours is? No, you speaking. Oh, sorry, that's my bad. It's because I walked out of the room. Alright. Mm. <clears throat> Uh, pick a sport. Karate, basketball, football, or gymnastics? Karate, volleyball, football, or gymnastics? Basketball, not volleyball. Oh, sorry. Um, well, it's definitely not going to be basketball based on... Uh... I actually used to really enjoy playing basketball. Um, yeah? Did you ever reach the net? No, of course not. I've, I can't fucking dunk it, but like you know, you get good at like making the shot from a distance. Oh dear. Um, no, I think I'll probably go with. What's well, not? I, you know, fun fact: I actually did gymnastics when I was a little kid. Mm. But I'm not very flexible, so I didn't really do it for long. Let's go with uh, karate. I never okay. did a martial art, but I, I would have liked to do a martial art, even what? though karate. What face do you pull when you're taking a selfie? I don't. I, I pull a silly face. I pull a scary face. Uh, I just glare at the camera. 
Or a selfie? No, I don't do selfies. Yeah, that one. That one. <laughs> uh, pick a movie to watch tonight. Planes, The Aristocats, The Lion King, or Up? I don't know what Planes is. I don't know what the rest are. Sorry, Planes, The Aristocats, was it one The Lion King? Did I hear that? The Lion King or Up? I'll do The Lion King. Okay. That was a good one. That was a good you, one. Your favorite animal is a lion. Oh, You're a natural that. born leader, even though you said you didn't answer the leader question to that. <laughs> I guess I just, you know, I'm one of those those reluctant heroes. I just, I refused the call at the beginning, but they're like, no, you're a lion, man. Yeah. Actually, they actually put a picture of a female lion. <laughs> 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 oh, so when they a... say you're a natural born leader and you're not actually the leader of the pack of the herd. <laughs> oh, that's kind God of God damn it. Um, I'm not so, I'm not yeah. the leader of the herd, I just take care of the kids. Exactly. And do all the hunting. To be fair, female lions are pretty badass. I mean, it, at pretty, the end of the day, you're still a fucking savage. lion. <laughs> yeah, like no, but like if the male lion isn't Acting properly, the female lions have a, a, a decent amount of power, and they will attack the leader of the pack. <laughs> well, again, you know, you're still a fucking lion. Mm. All right, so I need to have some kind of like plastic something to because I need to spread thermal paste here. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave you quickly, cousin. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, sounds good. I'll just continue yeah. to talk through what I'm doing. So while Blue's away, what I'm currently trying to do is attach the heat sink to the CPU. Now, the problem is figuring out exactly, as I whack the camera wire, what orientation to put this in on. So I think... Is, I'm going to be stuck with whatever way this hose goes, and that's going to be an issue if I put this in wrong. And I think it's already this is upside down. I think it has to go, it's supposed to go in this way. Just looking at how the logo's on there. Yeah. They want you to do it this way, which means this would go up here or in here. The, the way these hoses are is just obnoxious. I think it would attach up there, and then you'd have to... How does this... Oh, hold on a second. And this... Oh, this rotates! Ha! Okay, so I can put it in whatever orientation I want, because the actual logo on here rotates. So I could put it in like that, and then that might be the way to do it. That or just trying to figure out what the. Okay, I think I'm gonna have them going up because once I get this in here, it's it's basically that's it not really going to be a way around it. So we need screw O. Which is... The reason I'm actually consult... This is the one part of the build that I'll be constantly looking back at the guide for. And the reason for that is... The, the cooling unit comes in so many different varieties that it's going... If I use... I gotta make sure I'm using the right screws and everything, because I need to make sure I'm using the one for the L1700 bracket. Hold on, I just saw somebody post in chat. Ah, actually, no, that is a... Um, that's the new 12th gen i9 that I've got in there. Um, so that's what's in there right now. So it's a... Uh, just putting in the cooling system for it. Uh, I don't know what actually what OS is going to go on this. I've been considering doing a dual boot because I want to have Windows for some of the software that I'm going to be using, but I've always wanted to do a Linux setup. In fact, many of my friends have told me that what the hell am I doing running Windows? I should have been running Linux. And just for reference, uh, you joined 
right as I did have somebody else in here with me uh, helping out just in, in chat uh, keeping the stream a bit interesting as I went through the installation process uh, but he popped off for just a minute so he should be back here in just a sec so if there's a delay in me uh, responding to the chat that's the reason it's because I have to kind of glance over at the monitor there glance back uh, yeah so apply the thermal paste question is do I have I had a little paddle I was going to use here to apply it but I seem to have mislaid it so we're just going to use a piece of plastic really any kind of hard flat surface is going to work for this so I suppose I could use this knife actually uh, probably not <clears throat> All right. So I <laughs> funny story about PC assembly. I actually had a friend who we were helping build a PC and we kind of all went to a local micro center split up to get the various components that we were going to need. We all, you know, we'd all built computers before, so basically knew what we were looking for. And um, one of my friends who went off to get some of the, like the cooling unit and the thermal paste and all that, he accidentally, <laughs> hey Blue, what's up? Hey, sorry. No worries, I, I was just, <laughs> we've, we've got a couple more people in chat and I was just telling the story about this is actually, this is Raymond that I'm talking about. He, um, we were helping Juan build a computer. And Raymond went off to get the cooling unit and the thermal paste. And uh, he accidentally bought thermal glue. But we didn't notice until we put it onto the, onto the computer. Yeah. And then had already set the thing in there and realized that we had misaligned the cooling unit. So it, only two of the screws could actually be put in. And then we go to take it off to realign it, and it won't move. Uh, Kaiser. What? Uh, Solon Chat said, I think the stream is mic is muted. Oh, is it? Uh, I'm, I'm talking. Hang on. I'm going to mute Discord. Say yeah. something? Hello, hello. Hang on. Yeah, we're checking on it now. Oh, fuck. Say something now. I'm hello. sorry. I'm so bad. At God. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely you're definitely uh, muted. Oh god, I've been muted this whole time. That means. Uh, thank you for telling us that people. Wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> it doesn't say I. I mean, I'm listening oh. to the stream now, no, and no. I can only hear myself. God, that's okay. Yep, that explains a lot. Okay, so I'm talking now. <laughs> can am I? Tell me, Blue. Am I coming through on the stream? Yes, yes, you are now. Okay. It's all good. Yeah. Thank you, Cosmic Happiness, for telling us. <laughs> that's my, that's what I get happiness. for using a different mic than normal. Mm. Um, anyway. The, the, the st um, yeah, I, oh, I realized that... What? Go on. No, sorry, now I have, I have to re-mute the stream, because otherwise I was getting, like, four voices at once. <laughs> oh, no worries. <laughs> yeah, yeah so I, I'm, I'm sure you saw I was... Um, yeah, so the, the CPU going in here, to answer your earlier question, I kind of showed it on stream, but it's it's the new 12th Gen i9. Um, mm. And the reason we're putting this together is it's mainly going to be like a streaming, editing, and recording PC. Mm. Um, and to answer your other question, I was saying that I've always wanted to like do Linux, and I'm thinking maybe I'll do a dual boot on this one. Um, yeah. But for the time being, for tonight at least, we're just going to be installing Windows. Um, cool, cool. Uh, Cosmic Happiness says, uh, oh wow, this is an awesome build. <laughs> yeah. So it's, you know, it's, it's, we've got a few things going in here. I hope this one's not. Uh, and they said they can help if, they, if you need it. 
Uh, I would not be able to help, as we've established previously. Uh, and GPUs work phenomenally on Linux. That is one of the temptations for it, because uh, unfortunately, thirty percent faster depending on the game. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's interesting. You see, one of the th reasons that I don't actually I hadn't gone for a Linux build previously was mm. because they um, they really historically hadn't at least when I was in college and people were all using them, they didn't really work well for gaming. But if that's been addressed, it's something that I've wanted to try for a while. I might do it. Is this, uh, this is the PC you're going to be using when I'm over, right? Yeah, basically. Uh, they say, yeah, Linux sucked. <laughs> Back when the, the college days, like everyone, it was like, it, it was just a competition to see like what was the use like if you were just like basic entry level you're using ubuntu and then mm. there were how do you say it ubuntu ubuntu i don't know you could say it either way oh, i say ubuntu oh that's ubuntu yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it is weird uh what kind of games do you play guys uh so pretty much, oh, pretty much a lot of everything um my go-to like my best game right now or the one that i keep going back to is starcraft play a lot of StarCraft. Yeah, well, StarCraft 2 specifically. StarCraft 2, yeah. And then, mm. you know, FPS. I was playing Halo Infinite for a while, but it's kind of died off. Um, yeah, whatever catches my fancy at the time. I've also played, you know, a lot of RPGs and stuff. Um, uh, what's the most intensive that you play, though? Probably... Oh, actually, I don't think... I mean... Well, it's going to be anything, like, that we try out that's, like, come out that's brand new well, like rainbow siege 6 is pretty intensive yeah back when we played rainbow 6 that was that was pushing actually apex uh apex pushes my current computer pretty hard because i oh, run really? it at, at max settings yeah uh one second guys like because people are typing faster than i can talk <laughs> 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 which is it's, it's all good it's all good yeah so one thing uh, i was saying when my mic was still muted is i'm over here focusing on the build so blue's monitoring mm. the chat and kind of conveying mm. what you're saying to me so there might be a little sorry about that uh, so, they say, nah, your Ubuntu sucks, go for Fedora 37 Beta. <laughs> There's a thing called Fedora 37 Beta. <laughs> See, this is the thing, I, I know that a bunch of the Linux builds have, like, funny names like that, so I yeah. don't want to say it's not real, but at the same time, I, I just, I kind of hope it is. They say, oh, dope, StarCraft is amazing on Linux, I benchmarked it at some point. Uh... Well, all of what you said works on Linux. Our Rainbow Six Siege works better on Linux, but won't go into won't go into match because Ubisoft hasn't enabled the anti cheat. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's that's the other thing. If they find an OS they don't trust, I mean, oh god, I'm we're both pretty fucking sick of anti cheat. Don't get me wrong. The thing I every... can see it's obviously very fucking useful, and neither of us have ever cheated in an online game, so we've certainly seen other people taking the fucking mick with them. Especially on CSGO, it's like everywhere. But yeah. when you get like Valorant's anti cheat system, which is bigger than the whole fucking game. Well, yeah, and like... you also have to uninstall or restart the computer every time you want to like enable it if you don't want that spyware on the whole time you're running it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anti-cheat is a little finicky on Linux still. Halo Infinite works. Uh, MCC is coming. I don't know what that is. Master Chief Collection. Uh, DBD is coming. Any idea? Death by Daylight, maybe? I don't know. Dead by Daylight. Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, Apex works. Fall Guy works. I do. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Apex. That the thing is, so you missed it earlier. So in here, I've already installed the hard drive. We've got um, an N2 socket, uh, two terabyte solid state, uh, and then I'm also for a storage drive. I've got a 16 terabyte HDD that's going to be going in the back here. Um, so there's enough space for me to do a dual build, or like a dual boot. Sorry, but it is something too. Mm. And so we're going to be really testing the limits of this computer with it. Star Wars Empire at <laughs> <laughs> God, that was yeah. one of the last things we streamed, wasn't it? Honestly, I did so fucking badly. And I think that's probably the worst I've ever played a game. <laughs> All right. I, I'm at a bit of a, a crossroads here because I don't know if I want to take the fans out now and then put them in or take the fans out. I think I'm going to have to because it's just... It's going to get really crowded in here once I start putting in all the different power lines and 
everything. Mm. They said, well, Especially. prepare for glory if you dual boot. Hell yeah. Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, dual boot. So I'm talking about dual booting the computer, so having a Windows boot and a Linux boot. You start oh, okay. up, you choose what you're booting into. Two I operating actually, systems. I don't... I'm going to check something. Uh, as long as you can deal with some command line. I think it's command line on Windows, isn't it? Or is that Mac? Uh, well, command prompt is for Windows. I mean, they said terminal, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can remove these. Oh, they're on... I think I have to somehow get this... Oh, yep, I do. Okay. Oh. I thought this was yeah. metal. It's this weird, like, floppy plastic grate. Yeah. Alright, that makes my life a little bit easier. Well, to be fair, you don't... You don't really want that much metal on a PC, I guess. I don't know. I mean, the whole case is... You know, actually, that wouldn't be a problem. Never mind. I'm ignoring it. Uh... Hmm. Alright. There goes fan number one. Yeah. Yeah, so, and for... if Out of curiosity, because I, I think I might have said this while I was muted. Um, the GPU that we're putting in this thing is a... What is it? The Radeon 6900 XT. So I, I decided to go with AMD because I've been using NVIDIA GPUs for a while now and I wanted to try something a bit different. Uh, we'll see yeah. how it goes. And <laughs> I've had this GPU for a while planning to do this build because it's, it's really good and I got it on like a sale because once they announced like the 4090s and 4080s and stuff were coming out, like, the other GPUs kind of dropped in price. <laughs> like, significantly. They say, holy mother of God, and then they said, my... I'm going to use American terms for this. 6800 XT <laughs> works like a 3090 on a Linux. Uh, the 6900 XT is beyond fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to putting this thing through its ringer. Hmm. I just combined two phrases. Putting it through its paces yeah. and putting it through the ringer. <laughs> through the ringer, not it, its ringer. Um, yeah. Well, listen, I'm just, I'm just happy these days that I can run HOTS without, <laughs> without <laughs> lacking help. Yeah, that's the other thing that we play a decent amount of. Blue and I will play a bit of Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. Uh, upgrading on Tuesday when the new CPUs are out. Oh, nice. Uh, what are you, you going to be doing? Oh, shit. That oh, God. That's not a sad you want to hear. That's fine. It was just the, it was the heat sink, so it's not anything too fragile. Um, <laughs> I was going to ask him, uh, what's the... Uh, are you going with... Guys, uh, guys I'm just going to remind you, the heat sink is what blew up the Death Star, right? You just, <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> what's the... No, I was going to ask what what, G, uh, what GPU... Or what, sorry, what CPU are you going with? Are you going with Intel? Are you going with AMD? 7950X. Oh, okay. 32 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, that's what we're, we're going with uh, 32 gigs of RAM in this one as well. And GPU 7900XT once it's out. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I got some friends that are eyeing up the uh, 4080 right now when it comes out. I don't know. I've got in my main build the one that we're streaming through right now. Uh, I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of the 3090 founders when it first came out. Not through a scalper, I actually found it at a store. Um, <laughs> but And that thing's been doing pretty good so far, but I did want to try out and see how the uh, yeah, the, uh, the Radeon series was. So I'm, I think this is slightly misaligned, and I'm trying not to strip this screw. Um, there we go. Okay, we're through. What? Sorry, I'm looking at a really weird fucking picture. Come on. Uh, the uh, blah, 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 not worth it. The Nvidia launch is a complete scam, in my opinion. Uh, the 12 yeah. gigabytes 4080 is actually a 4070 rebranded for more monies. I actually benchmarked FFX Final Fantasy 15 today. If you want to check. The video ten percent faster on Linux. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the reasons that whenever I do have the opportunity to do a new build like this, I 
I like to switch back and forth. I, I've, with my builds over the years, I've gone back and forth between NVIDIA and AMD, and between Intel and AMD when we're talking about GPUs and CPUs. NVIDIA! <laughs> and, yeah, it, I found that, like, different generations are different levels of, uh, you know, quality, let's say. I think my last AMD build, I was using a, it was a Ryzen 7, I think. Uh, which... I really wanted to go with the NVIDIA on the 30 series, because RT, but they suck on Linux. Yeah. AMD is just extremely better value for money, apparently. They they tend to be, yeah. Um, the only reason I'm going with the um, the what is it? The, one of the reasons that I'm going with the you know the i9 Gen 12 Intel processor for this one is because again I'm prioritizing the CPU so that I can use it for editing and streaming and things. Uh, but also <laughs> my other option, if I wanted something about as good AMD wise, I would have had to go to a Threadripper. And I thought about it until I saw the price tag. <laughs> like, those things are, they seem obnoxiously good, but dear God, are they expensive. How much do you reckon this PC is going to, of all the parts combined, how much do you reckon it is? Uh, like the, the whole, like the total cost of the PC? Yeah. Um, let's see. As in for you to build it, not for resale, because that's going to be lower. Yeah, yeah, obviously. So, you, I want to say I paid like six or seven hundred for motherboard was on right. was around four hundred. Just, just shoving the fucking end of the screwdriver down. <laughs> I'm being careful not to stab the PC. Um, case was pretty cheap. I, I'd, I'd say probably I got a, a few parts on sale, but I think total this computer probably ran about two thousand dollars. Okay. Oh shit. Um, the the most expensive part would have been the GPU, but that I got on sale um, mm. because it was right after they had announced like all the new, the next generation of GPUs, and so the price of all the old ones dropped. I see. Uh, Threadripper is 4K or something, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to go with one of like the old generation Threadrippers, then maybe you can get one for like. I don't know, fifteen hundred or something like that. But good God, good God! They seem they seem like beastly. Pro I'd love to try one, but I don't feel like dropping like that kind of cash. Basically, I'd have mm. to spend the entire price of this computer that I'm building right now just to get the CPU, and that just <laughs> I can't justify that. <laughs> What do you mean, guys? This is this is the giveaway PC, guys. Obviously, <laughs> don't give me my uh, Yeah, not worth it for gaming, at least. Apparently. Yeah, it seems like it's it's the kind of like professional workstation for people to, that do like some kind of hardcore rendering or something mm. like that. Getting a real nice close up of Kaiser's forehead right now. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm leaning in. <laughs> PC's running away from me because I'm at a really awkward angle to get get at these screws. Mm. Oh yeah, that was something that happened earlier. To get this motherboard's got such a wide heat sink here, mm. I had to take this fan out just to get the motherboard in and then reattach the fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one more screw, and then this is in. So how many more parts have you got to uh, add in now? Uh, so RAM, other hard drive, and GPU, and that's all the parts, then just comes hooking up the power. To be fair, the RAM doesn't take two minutes. Yeah, the, yeah, the RAM's going to be very quick. In fact, I'm probably going to mm. do the RAM right after this, now that and I've got the heat sink in. Even faster will be when uh, Kaiser notably stabs the motherboard with his screwdriver and breaks <laughs> the whole PC. <laughs> We've got this nice, sleek-looking uh, RAM. This is some DDR5. How much is the uh, on there? So it's they're two 16 gig sticks, so it's 32 yeah, total. Yeah, 32. Okay. Yep. Because believe me, I know a little bit about RAM now. If that whole fucking debacle. <laughs> All right, sorry, you're gonna cost? see the back if of my was... head for a little bit. I'm imagining the RAM cost about a hundred dollars. 
Oh God, no, no. This so I'll if I was. Into... It depends. Yeah. So this the the thing is this is the next generation. This is DDR5 RAM, and right. like, it's it's some of the highest. Like I, I want to say these are. How, how fast are these? 6,400 megahertz. So this is the RAM that I got. And okay. that it, for that reason, these were $400. Whoa, fuck. Yeah. Jesus. No expense spared. I mean, there was a few expenses spared. I didn't get a Threadripper. Hmm. Well, you didn't get... You didn't double up on the RAM either because you got four swaps there. Yeah, I, I figured... I have 64 have gigs of... Far cheaper and got four. <laughs> I was going for speed rather than um, uh, than because my current PC has sixty four gigs of RAM and I never come anywhere close to that number. So I'm coming in here with a flashlight because I can't actually see. Mm. Yes, get the flashlight right in there. Uh, yeah, some spending on Tuesday. I want three hard drives as well. Hard drive. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've only got two in here. I only got two. Yep. To be fair, I've got two hard drives, I think. In fact, no, I know I do. But <laughs> it's a bit, I'm I mean, just, I, everything about this, I'm like, do I though? I'm so. Alright. Loop. Those are in there. Oh, I have a text message. I'll answer that after the stream. Alright. So, this is the CPU fan, pump fan. What does this go to? What the, what even is this thing? Oh. Going to play some Crisis. <laughs> okay. Run it on minimum settings. <laughs> I'm going to play Crisis. I do remember that Crisis used to be like how you benchmarked everything. Yeah. Yeah, Cyberpunk now. Apparently. Okay, I'm <sighs> I'm a fucking moron. I just oh. I, I was looking for where to uh plug in the CPU fan and um I was holding the wire for the light up bit of the CPU right. fan. Like, not oh. the actual fan itself. Uh, yeah, no, Kai's quite a big cyberpunk fan. Yeah, I did. I, I mean, I played that game on launch, and I, I was fortunate enough not to run into too many of the more obnoxious well, No, glitches. you ran into... You, we, there were plenty of fucking Okay, so I take that back. Those are all on YouTube, though. <laughs> but it was... But yeah. it was still, I still really enjoyed it. And I'm actually looking forward to when they start putting out the DLC for it. Yeah, well, they put out a comic strip, didn't they? Uh, and an anime on Netflix, and the anime on Netflix is actually really good. Uh, you got a, by the way, nice haircut, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, CP is a, uh, Windows gives 72, CP is a CP? So Cyberpunk, Punk? Yeah. yeah. One of the best games ever. I disagree with that. <laughs> hey, I really liked it. I thought the story was yeah, really good. it's a good game. It's better than it was given credit for, I think, but it's... Yeah. Ooh, one of the best think, games? No. I, I, uh, even CD Projekt Red, I think I preferred The Witcher 3 uh, of their games. I, my, I'm i holding out saying that for certain, though, because the DLC is now. And part of what made The Witcher 3 as good as it was was it had two very, very good like DLC packs that thoroughly expanded on the story and close mm. things out really nicely. That's part of why I liked Payday 2 so much, is because they kept releasing content, and they're still releasing content, and it's fucking... There's so many missions in that game now. Yeah. Uh, Digimon World 1, obviously, classically my favorite game of all time. I've got and, a mug of tea over here that I've, like, barely touched. And right. uh, Sonic Adventure 2 being probably my second, because the Chow Garden is just amazing. Oh, I forgot. Uh, there, there's, there is another part, because we're using this for... Streaming and stuff, I've, I've got a capture card to put in here. Very, very nice. Uh, but first, let's keep taking out the saw instead of the knife. Let's see the big guy, they said. Yep, we're bringing it out. Here comes the... Uh... Wait, they're not talking about me? <laughs> no, they're talking about the video card, Blue. <laughs> Unless you can, like, render at 
240 hertz, then move over. Uh, uh, the noises of things happening. Hey, that's kind of the same box that my coffee arrived in last week. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really pretty. Holy shit, this thing is huge. Ooh. Now here's Even more fans. Not enough fans is what we say. <laughs> this is going to be a real... This is barely going to fit inside this case. Uh, I don't think it's properly coming in, but I think it's like... Is it like a really shiny, colorful metal? It's yeah, like... when you've got it at an angle, we can see the color. But seeing it through the plastic is quite difficult. Is is it a medium case? Yeah, it's a mid mid tower. My normal tower is a like my normal one is a full tower, and I mm -hmm. went with a mid tower this time. Something I may regret <laughs> when I try to get this thing in, into the uh, into the computer. So, for anyone that's just joined, we're building Megatron. Uh... We're about to put in his extra fans. Because <laughs> he's such a hot boy. And I'm knocking uh, screws off my desk Ooh, as I do this. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, crap. Well, that is a heckin' chunker. Now, oh, this is. You've got more plastic you're peeling yeah, off. Yeah, there's. It's on here, like, really tight. Jesus. You know what? I need to step my computer up a second monitor. I still don't have a second monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I cannot, like, operating with a single monitor now is... I it did it for a while after I moved, and it was... I felt like I, I was missing an arm. Mm. Well, at work, I, I have more than one monitor, so it's like I get home and I'm like, oh yeah. I'm poor. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. So, am I going to be using your old PC when we're over? Uh, we'll figure it out. Cool, cool. I mean, I'm sure we'll be switching around on the new PC anyway, because just to see how fucking well it works. Yeah. And yeah, I guess it's probably going to work pretty well for VR stuff. Yeah, I do have... Uh, I've got all the VR stuff here, so it's ready to get kicked back up again. I, I know it's not the most labor-intensive of VR games, but I honestly really want to play some Beat Saber when I'm over there. <laughs> oh god, this is uh, gonna... Especially if we can get the ones with the, the special custom maps, because some of them look fucking beautiful. Okay, we've got it into the case. That's step one. You can't do VR. Person who loves computers and has... Such high tech shit can't do VR. What well, is it? Is oh, it like a motion okay, sickness no, thing? No, 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 yeah, it's motion sickness. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> uh, I think it's... everyone wants to throw up the first few times they try it, and it's just kind of something you get used to. But there's also certain games in general that are like worse for it for sure. Yeah, when I played the one that really got me actually was Minecraft in VR, because yeah. when you you move, you don't actually walk around and move, or there's an option. No. You jump, don't you? Well, you, you jump, but there's an option to have you use it like a controller and just walk forward, and I felt like I was going to fly. Like, I, I almost fell over. Oh, because good, the... yeah, because you like, walk towards a block and you expect to step up, but there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, and you get this weird vertigo feeling. Mm. Yeah. I still think it'd be hilarious, if kind of cruel, to watch you play some Nautica in VR. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, for reference, I, I don't do well with, like, underwater shit, and so... Mm. Or horror. Or horror in general, <laughs> Which yeah. Which, granted, some nautica is not technically horror, but there's some horrific creatures in there, one might say. Huh. Oh god, this is, the, this is the point where I'm watching it, where it's like, you hear the snap, and suddenly the graphics card is broken. The graphics card is fine, <laughs> it's just really, really large, and I don't know if it's going to fit in here properly. Oh, the things that I could say if I wasn't on Twitch. <laughs> uh, Here, a few things. Take these off. Yeah, I mean, Pavlov's another classic VR game, but I feel like it wouldn't really test. You want to play something really fucking beautiful if you've got a really powerful PC. <laughs> uh, I'll have to look for something. But 
A is beautiful and B isn't porn, because God knows there's a lot of porn games out there. Yeah. Oh, here's the fucking issue. Get this thing out of here. Well, I tell you, I was, I can, I've been playing that on Beat Saber. You haven't, or you didn't. Yeah. It's it's a real fucking rough one. It's so fucking fast. <laughs> oh. I'm taking a lot of these out because I actually don't know where this thing's gonna slot in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even know how many days I'm going to be in Boston, uh, but because I, I don't know, I, can't, I don't know when we're moving back from the other place. What time? What day? Let words. Oh, well, it'd probably help if I took this off. Took what off? There was a plastic cap on the bottom of the video card. That's why I couldn't get it in. <laughs> Look at this; yeah. it barely fucking fits. Like. It's literally rubbing up against... It's not rubbing... You probably have like a millimeter between this and the other fans. Oh. Gotta cram as much fan in as possible. Yeah, we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fans in here. Not including the one on the power supply, so technically ten. Val value for space, as Cosmic Happiness said. Yep, there we go, yeah. Be gotta... wary of the thermals, though. Space, you yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good... Yeah. I gotta make sure all the fans are pointing in the right direction so the airflow goes right. <laughs> as opposed to pulling all the air in the thing. <laughs> or they just blow oh, against each inside, other. I guess. Yeah. Pushing all the air yeah. into the CPU. That's what you want to do, right? <laughs> okay, that's attached. That, that, that's how you get the Digimon in there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, put this back in. Uh, this, I'm just, I'm making just a huge mess. There's just there. Well, you want to hear when you're working on a two grand computer. <laughs> Wait, how much was it? 600 pounds or something? Or was it two grand? Yeah, no, the, the 600 pounds was just the CPU. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think this was around seven or 800. This uh, cooling unit was around 100. Uh, motherboard was around 400. Case was around 100. RAM was around 400. This was about 200. Hard drive. How, how are you going to get the FIO cables to the bottom of the case? So, they actually have... I'll turn it around so you can see. Oh, God. There's screws just sliding everywhere. <laughs> Anxiety noises. So there's a well that they come up through through here, so they hook into this modular thing here, and then they go up into the case. I probably should have attached them earlier, but I should still... Oh, there goes another screw. I should still be able to get... I may have to take this out again, but I'll be able to connect them here and get them up in, inside. Which it's I think, a great case, that's so amazing. I think this is probably what I'm going to have to do now. So these are all the modular cables for the power supply. Right. Um, uh, remember, I'm on a, on a delay, so I can't see. <laughs> you'll see it in a second. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So I've got to get these all in here. That, that's, that's not a computer case. That's an advent calendar by the looks of it. <laughs> This is, okay, this is the motherboard. <laughs> so straight forward, guys, of which has been harder, the, uh, the PC building stream or the Lego Santa building stream? The PC building one. <laughs> Lego Santa, I just had to sit at my desk and build something. <laughs> like, it was, it was Legos. Uh, yeah, we want to do some more more Lego streams because that was super chill. All right, legit. I can't put this hard drive case back in because <laughs> the <mo> the power for the motherboard plugs in right here. Right.
right. And that case goes right over top of where it would have plugged in. Okay. This is the wrong one. Yep, this is it. So this one goes in here. Oh, I, I need to do the one at the back first, because otherwise I'm going to block myself. All right, where's the CPU? This is PCI. Should be another PCI. Yep, it is. What's this? The Pika Pika. Ah, here we go. CPU. All right. Drinking on a Sunday night. Uh, there you go. Practice your lounge singing. My lounge singing? Yeah, you know, I got a wingback chair here. You can put it into practice. Mm, I need some whiskey though for that. This is a bit too too much of a young's drink. I'm, I'm reaching my hand in here. I'm like, what is that? I was like, oh, it's a fan. Wait, which fan? Oh, it's, a, <laughs> it's the GPU. Classic Kaiser. Reaching around, doesn't know what he's doing down there, just fumbling. Uh, man, it's so close though. Like it's less than a week away now. I'm kind of freaked. It is really interesting to think about. I mean, I I spent most of today cleaning, getting the house ready. For reference, mm. um, I mean, obviously from the accident, Blue lives in the UK. He's coming over here to visit. Going to be hanging out for a while. That's one of the reasons we're building this computer. Yep. Uh, you already built the house, and so today... <laughs> yeah, you missed that stream. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> you got lots planned. By the sounds of it. I mean, I haven't been much in involved in it because I've been freaking out about just getting there. Well, you also, you know, it's kind of it kind of does fall on me to plan a lot of what we're going to be doing here because I live here. I guess. I mean, I did a little bit. Yeah, I guess I did do it. I did do all the planning when you came over here. It's true. Alright, so now I got these through. Um, I mean, I didn't plan it very well, because I took us to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we took a bus out to the middle of nowhere, ended up walking through like a wheat field, and stopped at a random pub. That was fun. It was. We stopped at three pubs. Uh, we did, I but I, I knew, I knew where one... we'd ended up. I just didn't know where how we'd gotten there. <laughs> oh god! It's all about the journey. I mean, yeah. Well, we just got to make sure we get on the right plane this time. Yeah. Oh wait, I was meant to be going west. I went east. <laughs> Why is everyone wearing wearing fuzzy hats? Uh, is this for... Alright, time to look at what the hard drive needs. The wrapping is foiling me, ironically. <laughs> the foiling is wrapping you. I actually knew somebody used to work at the company that makes these, like, static-free packages. Hmm. Alright, so we need a... Uh, yep, we need one of these. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested to see how this hard drive is going to work, because mm. this is one of those ones, it's like, I'm pretty sure this is one of the hybrid, like, um, HDD, SDD, so it's got, like, a very large solid-state buffer, and then yeah. the rest of it is a normal hard drive, so it's supposed to improve load time significantly when you're using it. I'll be curious to see how well that works. Hey. Oh, I thought I thought social medias had like a cutoff time when they would ping your mo mobile to say that stuff's happening. What do you mean? I just got fucking buzzed by Instagram saying that a random person I follow has just shared a post. Oh, congratulations. It's fucking 1am. Why are you buzzing people's phones? I don't know, but don't you have to set that shit up? I don't use I don't use social media, so this is... I mean, I don't really, but... 
for work reasons, I have it on my phone. All right, so now I have to figure out what... God, can you imagine if with your work you're mandated to have a Twitter account? <laughs> <laughs> sure that, that's people that work in marketing. Oh. I imagine that's... Uh... I mean, maybe it's a fun time, maybe it's not. Can't really judge it because I've never really done it. Mm-hmm. This doesn't go together. Let's move the hard drive out of the way. And not knock over that set of pliers. Oh, there's a film I want to watch. Um, oh. And it's been out for a while, and I hadn't realized what it was really. Well, I just hadn't looked at it because I wasn't a massive fan of the actor. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I can't remember what the film's called. One sec. <laughs> oh shit. What did I just knock over? Uh, Alright. I think... Yeah. It's uh, it's called Nobody. Oh, I've heard of that movie, yeah. I've and wanted to see that one for a while too. It looks like a funny version of John Wick. Well, it's it's like a it's like a beat-em-up, except, you know, the main it's... character gets, gets like the shit kicked out of him for most of the well, movie. Well, yeah, it's way over the top. There's a lot more gratuity in it. Um, I, I think it looks I've, really fun. I think I've got everything I need in here, so I'm going to flip it back over. Mm. Um, but yeah, no. then I realized that I've just had my choice of movie night, so it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. These wires are probably going to be fed through here. Also, we must be getting pretty close to Halloween. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's what m month off, a little more, month and a half, eh, month and a week. What what day is it, Halloween? Now? It's the thirty first, last day of, of October. Uh, yeah, of October. Mm. Last Dang. day. If only had fallen while I was over there, then we could have done we could have done Nicolas Cage <laughs> annual film while I was over there. Yeah, we have a tradition uh watch a Nicolas Cage movie every Halloween. Yeah. Uh, and this year, it's probably going to be the Nicolas Cage film about Nicolas Cage. Oh, right, because he's coming Nicolas out with Cage. that movie about yeah. himself. Is that out? Yeah, I'm not even sure. I don't know. I hope it is out by then, because that would be I'm to make sure fantastic. I don't break anything back here. But no, first year we had uh, Willy's Wonderland. It's like yeah. a, a knockoff Five Nights at Freddy's, but with Nicolas Cage just beating the shit out of all the animatronics. Uh, really good then movie. we had Lord of War. Was it next year? Yep, that was my choice. I really liked that. Yep. That was one of my favorite movies in high school. Uh, and this is going to be the third year running. Okay, let's see... I really should have run these power lines up before I installed everything else, but mm. I don't know. it sounded like that clicked. Okay. Now for the CPU, which is this one. Good. And now, because of everything being so tight, I'm running the wires for the CPU and the motherboard just like tucked between the GPU and the rest of the computer. I see. I need a lot. Hold on. Are those both? Where's my flashlight? So I'm going to step away for just a second. I need a real flashlight. Okay. Do you not have your phone on hand? Did you just have Siri come up? Was that what I just saw? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, no idea what the first game... Maybe we... Well, no. I was going to say, maybe we should end the stream with you playing your first game on it, but that would mean installing stuff and... It might be a little bit late. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I think if we can get it to turn on and install... Windows, then uh, that might be mm. it. I couldn't find the flashlight I was looking for. Oh, no. It's somewhere in the house. But <laughs> I was using it earlier, and I thought I was using it in my living room, but I wasn't. Oh, you know what you could do that doesn't require an install? Well, not really. Uh, you could play a game of Minesweeper. I, t I, <laughs> I mean, I, that could work. 
I, I just realized something. So I, I I was thinking I probably needed more power than this. And yeah. I was right. I need to run a lot more power up from the other side. I was actually um, setting up a laptop the other day for work, and the number of times that Microsoft tries to get you to make a Microsoft account when you don't need to. It's so that's actually one of the things that um, people have complained a lot about with Windows 11, is they hide the ability not to make a Microsoft account. Yeah. Like, it's totally doable. Just a pain in the ass to spot. Yeah. And I think in the home edition, um, you have to literally completely disconnect your computer from the internet for it to allow you to do it. Right. But yeah, so, um, it, I mean, it's not, I have a Microsoft account because I have an Xbox yeah, account. So. But it's not like, I mean, what do you use your Microsoft account for apart from giving Microsoft your data? SBOS. No, but like... I mean, I don't even do that because I don't really use Xbox. But you've also got an Xbox Live account on top of that, haven't you? They're the same account. Right, okay. So that, that's really what you're using. If you don't fucking give a shit about Microsoft. Like, no, what, what's the point of the Microsoft account? But for the end user? Uh, there isn't really one. <laughs> I'm sure they have some reason that they give you for why you need it, but you don't. It's just like with everything else. Like, oh, hey, sign up for this account so we can send you spam mail. Yeah. I cannot... <laughs> Problem is, with these fans here, I can't actually see what I'm doing past my own hands. Mm, look at that lovely hair. <laughs> Thank you. It's freshly trimmed. Yeah? Yeah, I just got a haircut. Nice. You need to, uh, you need to install Windows 11, actually. You need what to install Windows 11? Uh, I think they're removing the ability to install without an account. Yeah, they are. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. It's obnoxious. Uh... Here's the other CPU power cable that I didn't install like a fucking idiot. Yes, I apologize for causing happiness. It's two. It's 1 a.m. over here and I'm drinking. So I'm a little <laughs> slow. <laughs> Blue has been kind enough to stay up late his time to keep me company mm. as I put this thing together. But the moment I run out of alcohol, which is fast approaching. <laughs> uh, 3 a.m. here in Greece. Jesus. Oh, man. All right. You're Fucking even further away than we are. Out, out, dabbed me. What the fuck you, the kids say these days? <laughs> out, dabbed me. Out, out. Played? I mean, I guess that book. It's I mean, that's less just, cringe, for sure. It's just, just a normal classic phrase. All right. Mm, out <laughs> It's when you're better at cleaning up spills than someone else. Alright. I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to have to turn it over again. Oh my god. He's going to have to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> I'm going to have to go all out. He's going to use Bunkai. What the fuck? I'm just going to use a different port. Ah, there we go. That one just didn't want to go in. Question is, who copied who, Dragon Ball Z and Sonic the Hedgehog, for going Super Saiyan slash Sonic? What, what is it when Sonic goes yellow? Super Sonic. Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I always wondered if that was just like a maybe like an old trope in Japanese like cartoons or if it was actually something that uh hmm. you know, was was something that one of them did and then a bunch of other shows went along with it. <laughs> and then Bleach was like, you know what? Ginger hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <sighs> He's going super ginge. The person who made Bleach obviously had something for, for gingers, because, I mean, Orihime and Ichigo, both pretty fucking attractive. And something for, like, um, you know, just, like, that kind of punk aesthetic in general. 
Yeah, ginger punk. I mean, for Japan, because you know, having dyed oh, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. But they they, they had natural hair in it, didn't they? I don't Which know. is weird because they are Japanese, aren't they? Well, and the other thing is the show is called Bleach. I just kind of always assumed. Yeah, why is it called Bleach? Maybe it's just because it was an English word, and it's like it's popular to have English words in Japan, as I think we know. Yeah, one of my one of my favorite images out of Japan is has always been that picture of the guy who had a shop, and he wanted to advertise. It was an exciting sale. And oh, he just goodness. wanted to put an English word in there, yeah. So he, all the signs outside the store just said "big fucking sale." <laughs> I'll tell you guys something like it says "orgasm." Just no, no, it just says <laughs> "big fucking." So he just thought "fucking" was a way to emphasize things. Oh yeah. And so, to be fair, if you saw a sign that said "big fucking sale," I I'd think be like, you'd yeah, go "Wow, oh, God, this must be some big fucking sale." <laughs> a real big fucking sale. <laughs> oh, okay. After that debacle my um cpu powers hooked up gpu powers hooked up very nice now i've got some more wires to plug in oh. these are what we got left to put in then a bunch of tiny wires um and this yeah and the hard drive gotcha. and then the engine block <laughs> I actually think I needed to put these things in through the bottom. Yeah. They don't really Clip fit. It. Clip it. They don't really fit through here. What does that go to? What's the uh, what's the native currency of Greece? I think they don't they use. Well, I mean, they use the euro now, but... Oh, I guess so, yeah. It just sounds so exotic, <laughs> you know? <laughs> euro, okay, yeah, fair enough. Man. Here's what it the used to be, though, because, like, the yeah. French used to have the franc, Germans used to have the mark. Here's what their currency was before that. Drachma. Oh, yeah. of course, I knew that from fucking Assassin's Creed. <laughs> That awful fucking Assassin's Creed game. Uh, which is a shame, because Greece is incredibly picturesque from all I've seen of it. Beautiful area. Hmm. Alright, let's see if this will connect properly. I just remember watching a streamer playing it, right? And I tabbed into their stream, and they were climbing up a one of the massive statues on top of hills, right? Mm -hmm. And they were just laughing their ass off because they are hanging as whatever the fucking ass assassin was called off of the fucking statue's dick. <laughs> uh, AC is particularly accurate of the nature of Greece. What, everyone trying to kill you? Or do you mean, like, nature as in the, the green areas? <laughs> because the, the nature of the Greek man, one in two of them want to kill you with spears. <laughs> The buildings That's... have nothing to do with modern Greece, though. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, they actually did a, um, I mean, they did Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but I've never played it, partially because I think it would be horrible, because I've heard bad things about it. That is the one set in the UK, right? Yeah. Although you might as well play Assassin's Creed, uh, was it Legion or something? It was a really generic name. The the French one where everyone had British act like heavy British accents. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well play that by the sounds of it. Alright, so they put these little Velcro things to have it all neatly all the wires neatly running down the back of this thing. Mm. And honestly, that was the worst fucking thing they could have done. Because it was like I had to unwire all of that to actually Get stuff in the right fucking position. Why are these all here? And I'm out of booze. There's a real tragedy. I know. Fan. Oh, 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 oh. Why would they do it like this? I've got some orange on my desk, but I don't think it's going to be quite as, quite as much of a hit. <laughs> this is for LEDs and fans. What does this go to? 
This is the power supply for this. Metal Gear. Psycho Mantis. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually using Assassin's Creed to rebuild Notre Dame after Sephiroth burned it. Ooh, oh my god, why did I say that out loud? <laughs> 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 Uh, I don't know why, but I'm glad you did. What? Not tr You're glad I said uwu on your channel, are <laughs> you? Uh, no, okay, fine. I'm not glad about that. Fuck off. Uh, there was something about Notre Dame and, and the rebuilding effort. I can't remember what it was, though. The Bills of Notre Dame. Yeah, I had the urge to rewatch that old classic oh, Disney movie again. I uh, actually referenced it earlier tonight. We were doing D&D, &D and mm. we have a warlock in our group who is famed for setting fire to buildings. And I was like, I'd love to see your character doing the Hellfire song. <laughs> <laughs> Hellfire, dark fire. This is the wrong wire. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that just almost rhymed. Hellfire, dark fire, wrong wire. <laughs> it sounds like some keep talking and everybody explodes shit. Oh god, I another VR game. That's another game that's really fun in VR. Uh, It'd it? actually be kind of like fun to play that with us in the same room. Like you got the VR headset on and I'm shouting on you. Blow! It's the red wire. <laughs> yeah, but then you've been practically fucking spitting on me with laughter as you fucking shout in my ear, and I like piss myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, maybe that'd be a fun one to stream. To be honest, if we had two cameras, one on us in real life and one showing what I could see in game, that'd be very funny. <laughs> Did I hook this up to the right? I'm ninety. No, yep, that's the audio. Okay, good. Uh, Although you'd have to get a real, like, whole okay. lens to get me in. <laughs> I, I have to quickly talk about the computer real quick, because I just... They, they did something very interesting with this case. Mm. So, they included this. Which, all of the CPU fans are wired into this one central chip. Right. Which then gets powered by this, which hooks into a normal, like, hard drive power supply. So, all the CPU fan ports on the motherboard, don't need to be plugged into. They all get plugged into this thing. Right. Which, whoever soldered this is a fucking moron. Why is it like all lopsided? Alright. Oh so, You said things. that the, the case was like the cheapest... Wait, no. What, what no, is I it didn't. The case, the case was... I mean, the case is going to be the cheapest part of the computer, but it's... Yeah. This is by no means a cheap case. Okay. So I'm just going to stick this somewhere, because you can do that. I was watching Drinker Reviews the other day, right? Mm -hmm. He really doesn't rate um, Venom. Didn't He's really, really like not it. a fan of it. No, he didn't. Yeah. They teach their own. Yeah. Okay, this needs a plug for a hard drive, which, oh my god, I threaded it through the other side of the computer. It's this one. <laughs> no, it's this I'll one. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'll glance over at the chat every now and again. And now Blue's got songs stuck in his head. God, now it's stuck, stuck in my head, too. Burning in my skin. Okay, so I think this plugs into... Yeah. So this powers all the fans and some of the LEDs. I'm just really nervous about this ground that does... It, like, it looks like it was barely soldered on. This is supposed to stick as well. And I don't know what this is for. I think this is for additional LEDs. That's for the LED for the power switch. 
thing I'm curious about, because there was... Where is it? It's one of these. Ah, here it is. Nope. Nope, that's the fan. It keeps unsticking itself. That's... I might just let that fly free. There... Here it is. Yeah, these are the power switches. But the thing is, the LEDs for them are hooked into this board. Which I unplug these. So they're never going to make it over to the other side if I don't do that. God, that song is just playing in my head now on repeat. Oof. I'm back. Welcome back. What's on uh, in your head and repeat? Uh, the Hellfire. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if that... <laughs> just realized that the camera's... I just dropped a screw and then grabbed it with my foot and then... Anyway. Oh, so when we're over... Um, apparently we're going to be really, really close to a really big tourist attraction place. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of those around Boston, but yeah. No, but a unique one that is special to where we're going to be. Um, oh, you mean out in when we're out for the wedding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so uh, Joey suggested that we should all head out there together. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. We we have we have Sunday, so. Mm -hmm. Also, the moment you know more about, actually, uh, later on, obviously. Uh, I think you'll need to send me the new places address. So for uh, passenger attestation or something like that crap form. Because they need to know where I'm going to be staying. Apparently. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, cool. yeah, I can send that to you. Cool, cool. I cannot find where the power... One of these ports is for the on-off switch and the light for the on-off switch, and I cannot for the life of me find it. So I think I'm going to have to look at the manual for the motherboard, which is... Ah, nope, that's not it. Oh, here it is. All right. Nope, oh, here we go. It's on page... It is JP1. That's one. This is why I wanted a flashlight. You're looking fucking... for Japan, are you? Yeah, my <laughs> my fat head is blocking out all the light when I lean over to look at what port is what. It's J1. More fans. Put this down here so people can see what I'm looking at. Honestly, I'm just impressed that the um, your headset stayed on your head while you've been lent over it. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's a fairly good head. It's not a very heavy headset, which is why it works like... Mm. Well, all right. Now for a reading section. Yeah, right? <laughs> Uh, t t processor, JRG, J LED, audio. Ah, here it is. JFP1. That's what we're looking for. I'm assuming this isn't very vis Oh, there's JP1. Okay, it's... Alright, it's right there. Yeah, it's very hard. In fact, it's pretty much illegible <laughs> on the, the screen. Okay, I, I kind of figured as much, but, you know, I, I was going to ask... Oh, and I have to I have to rethread this wire. All right, well, I need to hold this page open. Now that all the parts are in, this kind of... 
weighs a decent amount. Mm-hmm. This... Oh, crap. There we go. Okay. We're through. You all good? Yep. Just thought I lost a wire. Mm. Okay, so... Let's see, we got... Power switch goes power switch goes up top and then next to it goes the power LED which is one of these okay power LED Power switch. And then the hard drive. What is this? Uh, is this reset or is this? Hard drive LED. That goes right there. Legit, after this build is finished, one of the things I'm looking forward to doing is taking, like, a fucking cold shower. Because it's actually kind of hot in here right now, and I'm sweating like a fucking pig. Getting too turned on by the computer. I, I mean, just, I, how could you not be next to all this hardware? Mmm. It's so many, inserting so many plugs into the bottom. I mean, this is the sort of thing that, you know, poets write songs about. Mm. Because poets can't sing. That metaphor got away from me. Oh dear. It's not like the good old days when they'd be able to fit a whole SCART cable up there. No. Oh, <laughs> All about the, the USBs now. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, that's. Oh crap, I took the other one out though. There are too many pegs! Too many pegs. Oh, no. Well, you should be doing this. You, you play Peggle? Yeah, Peglin. Whatever it's called. All right. You need you need to insert a little green orc boy with a satchel of rocks. LED. This is literally nothing but an LED. Did you play Slime Rancher? Probably not, I imagine. Uh, I don't think I did. No, no, I just... I watched like some YouTube videos of people playing it, but I never played it myself. Apparently the second one's just come out. Oh god, I didn't even know they were making a sequel. Mm. Now the question is, can I pull this? I can! Alright, let's put this back here on this weird obnoxious chip where everything is just slightly diagonal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kaiser, is that, is that a self-defense chip? <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> no one gets a reference. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we're referring. We were playing Digimon World One the other day on a stream, and this was a while ago now. But early on, there's an SD, meaning Special Defense uh, Chip, and I read it mm. as Defense Chip, and that just became the joke from then on. And then they all lived happily ever after. All right, mm. two more parts. Hard drives next. Real question is, will Blue be conscious when we finish this? That is the question of the hour. Bet Maybe even the now. decade. Oh. What? Oh, I see. Alright, uh, question is, which one of these screws goes to this hard drive? This one works. Okay. Hmm. You may be getting tired and somewhat intoxicated. My legs are really getting sore from standing for this long. Yeah. I mean, most people don't build a PC all in at one point. Because <laughs> uh, most people are pussies. Well, you cut out there a bit, but thank goodness, because I don't think it was Twitch. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. Most people are potatoes. That's that's what we said. 
Which patats? Uh. Okay. That's in there pretty solid. old enough that when you wiggled it, you fucked up the camera. Oh, did I actually? <laughs> well, it just shook the whole table a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not so bad, then. <laughs> table to wiggle. I'm using, like, two different kinds of screws. There's just so many of them over here. <laughs> okay. And now I need this. Able to go right. Nope, I need the end. Welcome to another I kind of episode like... of I Should Have Done That First before I screwed I... it in. I kind of feel like we also need to watch the uh, the Death Note musical now that I found out that's a thing. I still can't believe that that's a thing. Like, yeah, it's I, I, I've, I've seen. So there was originally, the first live action of it was like, it was a Japanese live action. Yeah, well, live actions are known for Death Note for being awful. I'm 90% sure this SATA cable is not long enough. That being said, the Bleach live action is worse. At least the Death Note one's kind of funny. The Bleach <laughs> one is just, oh so, god. I saw the the first one, the one that came out in Japan in theaters when they released it here, and they just released it subtitled. And it was the funniest thing, because the tra even the, the translations were so bad. For, for Bleach or Death Note? Oh, sorry, I meant Death Note. Right, right, yeah. The translations were awful. It was like, Sir, he has died of the heart stop. <laughs> there was one scene in... Because I, I did watch through one of the live-action Death Notes, and there was a scene in one of the episodes, or was it a film that I watched, I can't remember, where they cut to uh, like a house in England and they had the most stereotypical British people. And it was, it was just, was just like... fucking hilarious. Tea and crumpets, pop, pop, cheerio! Like, exactly that kind of, uh, you know, level of cringe. <laughs> God. Really thick accents as well. Alright, legit, this this thing will not stay still, and I'm getting worried it's going to get crushed when I flip this thing over again. Give me one second. Okay. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Man, I'm hungry. I wonder if everyone's ever anyone's ever done a building a PC stream in the hot tub and then had a hot tub stream of someone building a PC. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fucking on edge that you just fucking electrocute yourself or destroy the motherboard. <laughs> Everything short. Yeah, I can't help but feel like that would not work out well. No, but it'd be it'd be fucking amazing to watch, wouldn't it? Yeah, I you couldn't... just like any second could be this PC's last. <laughs> Once again, I couldn't find what I was looking for. I was trying to find some duct tape to like hold this in place. Right. Because it... clearly blue tack is what you need. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I think I'm done getting into this side of the PC, so I can probably put the panel back on. Uh huh. Is that the big glass one? Nope. Glass one goes on the other side. This one is right. the big metal one. Looks like you're putting the PS3 together. <laughs> That's what this is. I, I this is just a very elaborate PS3. Hmm. Oh god! Now I have to find. Oh, that was actually surprisingly easy. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm really fucking hungry. Holy shit. Kind of hungry too, actually. All I had for dinner was some chicken ring, chicken wings, and pasta salad. Oh. I didn't even have that. Fuck. So I woke up today and I was waiting for people to get home to, so that we could have lunch. Those cheeky fuckers. They went and had a roast dinner for lunch <laughs> while they were out and didn't message me. So I was waiting at home, being like, "Okay, we're gonna have food soon." <laughs> you're sitting there. It's like just, it's I'm like so fucking hungry. two p.m. Two p.m. They get in. They're like. Oh yeah, we just we just had a really big meal. Sorry about that. Like, oh, oh, that's great. Thanks. I'll go make myself toast. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sad face. Oh. All right, last component that needs to go into the PC. And I really hope this thing doesn't need like. The blood power. of virgins. <laughs> there was like a running joke amongst like me and my friends that you know a PC build wasn't really complete until somebody actually ended up bleeding because yeah. like the heat especially like before we had like the liquid cooling units they were easy to use they had these giant sharp like copper heat sinks and good god you would slice your hand on those things so easily when you have to Set up the Tesla coil inside of your PC. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. Which does this go to? Right there. Oh, bottom slot. Light traps, basically Tesla coils. What? What's a Tesla coil? Like, you know, you get these um, moth and fly traps. Kind of oh, thing. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. No? no? I mean,. It's a rod of metal that have, zaps anything that comes near it and kills it. Have you actually ever seen a Tesla coil? Uh, in Command and Conquer. <laughs> okay, well, they, yeah. they actually have them in the Boston Museum of Science, if you want to see one. We'll yeah, the, it's like the, the orb that, you know, sparks yeah. things off of it that come nearby. With the All right, so this is going to need to go in later, I think. But my <laughs> point stands. I don't think this is going to work. What is that? The RAM? No. No, no. This is the the capture card, oh. and I think this is gonna be this is gonna seem like a very stupid question. I don't know if you can put a PCIe socket into a PCI. Hold on. Is grease there to answer our question? <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, no. Google says it can, so I'm going to put it in. Okay. I mean, it fits. It's just, it, it's only using like half the socket, which is why I wasn't sure. All right. All right. And this needs to go back in. Oh, yeah. What's that new um, browser that everyone's. Opera trying GX. to advertise on you, yeah. Everyone's trying to advertise it on YouTube at the moment. I've I've been using it because uh, I saw it advertised quite a while back, and I was like, hey, you know, it doesn't look too bad. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, is it any good? I like it. Okay, well, we're gonna say it's shit until they give us money to advertise it. So it's shit. <laughs> Don't get it. Oh god. That's how that works, right? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it works. Mm. Oh, that screw definitely didn't go in. No, it didn't. This one did, though. Get screwed. Fuck it, that's not going in. Okay. Final spot check. Because I think I've got everything in here. Alright, we've got... Oh, wait. I need to plug what? in... <laughs> I need to plug in the hard drive. Give me a second. Oh. <laughs> oh god, yet another thing on the list. I should have done this before the GPU went in. Alright, I lied. I have to take this back panel off again. Alright, all the components are in. Just one thing I forgot to plug in. 
Government spin. Spin to win. I was actually going for the Tetris song originally, and I just went with it because it was a good song anyway. It is a really good song. The best thing is to come out of Russia. <laughs> yeah, you know what's really fucked up is that guy didn't get a dime for anything he did because communism! Oh. Well, neither did Vincent van Gogh, really, so. Yeah, he died. Didn't he kill himself? He cut his ear off, and then. I can't remember how. I think he had quite he, an unpleasant death. Yeah, he 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 died before, like, his, in his own time, his work was basically thought of as shit. Yeah. He but, had got depression or something. Well, yeah, I mean... Yeah, he had, like, manic episodes and stuff, and mm. super depressed, but... You know, I mean, you've got to if you're going to be a good artist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... That is the stereotype, is the... What is it, the, um... The, the the old phrase is the uh, the most brilliant among us have the most persuasive demons. Mm. There. Okay. Wow, this thing is heavy now. Hold on. Someone asked me whether I was religious earlier today. I can't remember why. And are you? Have you accepted no. your Lord and Savior? <laughs> Uh, there's a piece of fucking plastic on the, the power supply, and it's like, it's so fucking bolted in, there's no way I can get it off now. My, my lord and saviour, Equestrian Johnson. God damn it. There's a piece of plastic on the... This is what? gonna bother me so much. There's one piece of cellophane I didn't take off. Oh, it's just cellophane. I'll fucking leave it then. It looks like shit. No, I'm I'm going to leave it because I'd have to disassemble this whole thing to get it out. Okay. So once again, final spot check. Just take a knife to it, guys. It's fine. Oh, a knife. <laughs> All right, we've got the CPU is powered. The CPU heatsink is installed. The motherboard is powered. All the fans are powered. The GPU is powered. We've got the capture card installed, we've got the audio drivers plugged in, the power switch is plugged in, the USB ports on the front of the unit are plugged in, the one hard drive that needs a SATA port is plugged into a SATA port, all the fans are powered. I think I said that twice. Ready to give it a test run. <laughs> oh my god. How are you going to be able to show that all on the stream? That is the question. So somewhere on this desk is a flash drive that has a copy of Windows on it, which I'll have to find. Uh, but I... Oh, here it is. So what I'm, I'm going to do is... Uh, oh, right. Wi-Fi. The motherboard has Wi-Fi installed, so... Oh? I just have to hook this up. Waifu. Yes, the waifu installation. Hmm. Very important. Alright, so this slots in here. This is a very pretentious looking Wi-Fi antenna. Yeah. Thought it was quite your style, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, who said I'm not pretentious? Hmm. All right, let's screw in the antenna. I'm going to leave the side panel off for now. I do to. I was going to show... say, you're going to put the French door back on. I will once we're sure that it's actually working. Yeah. Where the fuck's the power cable? This is occurring to me now. I never actually saw the actual power cable. I mean, I've got a million of those lying around the house, so I can just grab one, but... Is it still in the box? Oh, it's still in the box. Oh, whoops. 
Okay, got the power strip right here. Move this over here. In it. My fucking fat head in the way again. Okay, I have a monitor that I'm going to get onto the table once I clear some of this away. I'm going to clear away some of these screws in. Uh, most organized way I can. Sounded just real fucking oil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be stepping on screws for like the next month. What is this? This came with the motherboard. And I don't think I actually looked at... <laughs> It's a brush. Is this to like clean out the keyboard or something? I don't know. All right. Give me a sec to grab the monitor and put it up here. And I'll, I'll try to re-angle the camera so we can somewhat see what's going on. All right, power supply for the monitor. Oh wait, how's the chat doing? Oh, yeah, people uh, are... All quiet on the western front. Yeah, I imagine people were probably trickling out once we actually finish things up. Yeah, well, pretty late now. Yeah. Appreciate you staying up for this. Right? This is the wrong power I, supply. I think I've got about 15 minutes more at max. That should be all we need. Google. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, what time is it right now for me? Oh, it's wow, it's almost nine for me too. Yeah. Oh I, wow, only, almost nine. I, I have to be up Ooh. early to be in the office tomorrow. My PC just had a had a funny. What happened? Don't know if you can hear that. Uh yeah, I heard. Well, it sounded like a toilet training actually. <laughs> wow, rude. <laughs> rude to the PC, yeah. And what else? Um, all right. I need, oh, I need a cable to hook it up to the monitor. Uh, I got to grab that from the other room. I'll be right back. Thank you. Next week, we build a GameCube from scratch. <laughs> I was like, that would be the best fucking thing, because then when you complete it properly, you get that startup noise of the GameCube. And then it just turns into the meme one where it just goes on forever. <laughs> this goes stick bug. There we go. All right, moment of truth. Oh, what is this button? Why are there two buttons back here? Oh. All right. One of them's going to be the main power. Where's that flash drive? I just had it in my hand. I can't see anything on the screen, as I'm sure you're aware. Oh yeah, there's nothing on the screen yet. I haven't... Okay. I need to grab a key. And get it. Basically, I, so Windows is going to take time to install, so I say that if it turns on and Windows starts installing, we call it a success. And you can cool, go cool. to bed. 
Oh. Hopefully, kind of see that. Ooh, right, I can do this. Oh, oh that yep. was wrong. Okay, you can vaguely see it. There. Yeah, I, I have... full screen. Let me move. No, All right, on button. Oh boy! Get a real, real good view of you. Oh boy! Hold on. Look at the, look at this. I'm gonna try yeah, to angle the tricky. camera a little bit more. Look at mm. it. LG. Yeah. Trying to get this at a better angle. Look at it. It's all rainbowy. Oh, I see the one of the fans. There we go. Look how pretty it is. Oh god, you're making this real fucking vomit inducing. Sorry. Okay, cool. We're well into the upside down realm. There's there's no choice but upside down, unfortunately. That's fine. All right, PC do does look works. very pretty though. Although there's one fan that just isn't spinning. Oh. That's a very mucky monitor. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned. Also, you have shadow hands. Shadow hands? Yeah, because it's the only white thing, and they're just kind of floating around in the screen. Oh. CPU memory change. Please enter setup to configure your system. F1 to run setup. Does that mean it's working? Oh, that looks good. It wants me to move the memory to different slots. Oh. Um, yeah, you might need to do that because it does need to form a circuit, doesn't it? But I, they're in the right spot. Oh. Like they, I, I have them in like they're not in, you know, slots right next to each other, so they should be working. Does it let you continue on? No, it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Oh. Something's happening. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, we're at the Windows screen! Thank fuck. <laughs> Alright, we'll call that a success. Total time, 2 hours and 42 minutes. That's where we're getting it. Ooh. Holy shit, I am sweaty as fuck. <laughs> and on that bombshell. Yeah, it seems like we've lost all but one viewer, uh, so... Thank you, person who's here till the end. The computer is working. I will install Windows on my own time, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see how this thing runs. One fan isn't spinning, and that's really annoying me. I may have to fix right. that, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's one fan right in the middle in the front of the computer. It's just not, it's not spinning. All right. Well, Blue, thank you for sticking around. And thank you, uh, thank you for those that watched. Uh, we will see y'all next time.